Hey everybody, good morning to you. We're back. Um, once again, I want to thank everyone who joined us yesterday. We had a huge day. Um, I mean, well, people are going to notice the bits most, and I love those bits. But you know, mostly I just want to thank everyone who was here yesterday. It was a lit stream, lots of people saying hi. Nice to me and being, <laughs> being nice to each other and having cool conversations and stuff. So um, that's, that's why you get up and do it. You know? That's why you get up and stream. And, uh, I don't, I don't even know what else to say. Thank you. But, uh, the bits are great. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. Yeah. And centered again. You guys are amazing. Thanks so much. But uh, today, this morning, we are playing Pillars of Eternity. Very hyped for it. Let's get going. Um, oop. That's the wrong one. This one. There we go. Ah, uh, yes. Here we are. Um, we're currently in the middle of the Endless Paths. I should say we're close to the end of the Endless Paths. Um, let's get cracking on them. Yeah. So yeah, we played um, Bloodborne yesterday. That was awesome. Um, except for the part where I got my shit ripped by Marta Ligarius. What are you going to do? And uh, we finished Dishonored 2, which is great news. Um, once we wrap up uh, Dishonored Death of the Outsider, uh, we hey. will be moving on to... Um, Probably Techno Babylon, point and click adventure by Wajedi Games. Cool. Pretty excited about it. It's been a while since we played one of those. See if I still have my mojo when it comes to point and clickers. That's yeah, right. <sighs> um, this game is very good. Um, got some good plans after this one That's as well. Indeed. I've mentioned them a couple of times already. But uh, I don't see any reason to... Oh, my soldiers are all out here. Great. Can I talk to you guys? Can I read your souls? No, you're good. Hey. Thank you. Well, that's good. Good job, team. Keep at it. The guy tells me I'm ready to go start that war, although I fucking doubt it. I fucking doubt it. Um... Faster, gents. Endless paths are fun. They are a challenge. Um, but it is what it is. Um, hold on. Actually, i got to check one more thing before we go out there. I think I accidentally put my camps in my, um, my supplies, which I did not intend to do. So yeah, not sure about an afternoon stream today. We'll see. Definitely doing this stream. Keeps obviously. coming along nicely. Um, okay. uh, let's see. Two camps. Where's my shit? I know I bought camping supplies. I definitely did. Hmm. <laughs> Where'd they be? I don't know what happened to them because I bought them. All right, let's have to buy some more. Welcome. Show me your wares trader. I just need the two, thanks. Thank you, sir. Alright. Back downstairs. Oh, we got a dungeon master now. Hail and well met. Greetings, milady. I'm here to maintain the cells for you. Should you take any prisoners in your travels, I'll make sure they are attended as you see fit. Nobody in here right now, but I'm sure you'll change that soon enough. Okay. I kind of feel like I should have done that sooner, but I guess we'll see. Maybe that has something to do with the bounties. I'm not really sure. Probably won't do many of those.
All the way to the bottom. I love this map. It's so cool. Um, okay, we've done level 11. I think that means we have 12, 13, 14, and 15 left. Based on uh, the achievement we got. Because it said we completed the mid-levels prior to coming in here. Uh, now we enter an area I haven't been to before. So, this will be fun. What's the matter, kitty? What's the matter, kitty? Sorry, my cat is meowing. I don't know why. Oh boy. This looks wide open. I don't like this. I don't do well in wide open spaces. Light, flame, and sound. You're not getting... Not getting through me. Very <laughs> well. Ouch. Took a lot of damage in that though. That was a lot. Like a lot. Because we were fully rested and Aloth is already down there. That squirming larva bob in this green liquid. Cool man. That's cool. Let's see what lies this way. Dominated again. I hate when that happens. That's it. Okay. It's going well so far. We like it. I do save a lot. All right then. Rick saves a hoy. Steady does it. No idea what that is. This. Holy shit. Um, okay. Nice. Good job, team. Thing isn't doing <laughs> spiders are pretty easy in this game for the most part. Didn't have to do that. Sick and nasty. Hey. Hmm. So be careful going into these things. Could be trapped. Nice. Um, okay, sure. Alright, guess we'll fight this thing now. Hey. Following your lead. Yes. Hey. A group of rogue figures blocks passage. Their heads bear a fearsome resemblance to those of the spiders that infest the caverns. Their mandibles clacking in small constant movements in the dim light of the caverns. Their round black eyes gleam like gems. They look up as you approach. You feel a peculiar itchy sensation in your head. The sonar running thin fingers through your thoughts. A muted sense of distress fills your mind, followed by a far louder screech of alarm from one of the rogue creatures. As one, the creatures turn towards you and attack. 
Does that mean we're like dominated or something? Hey. Okay. Um, at the sight of their comrades, their eyes grew bold. I love that. <laughs> um. Uh, so you do this wall thing because I do not want you coming by here. Hi. Um. Are they vessels? That would be nice. It seems not. Shit. Uh, not ideal. Not ideal. Okay. Another one, please. You're still paralyzed, I think. For a long ass time, you. I know, guys, I know. I'll do my best for you, I promise. Hmm. Shadow. Oh. Got an arrow for this one. Ready, watcher. Yeah? to me he's a leader he's paralyzed how long um stunned for a second that's okay what we'll get him back in a second here. you're not getting nice good job nice okay that could have been worse all right then hey we got brains. Vithrak brain. The large gelatinous brain of a Vithrak. The Vithrak are known to possess impressive powers of the mind. There's no obvious source for said power on the brain's wrinkled surface. Yeehaw. Hey. I'll take a look. Mm hmm. Okay. Seems I have to use these webs to cross over. Looks like it. Come up here first. Couple of bridges here. This is gonna be bad. Grave dog. Um, Aloth? I have so much respect for you, sir. Not to alarm you. Mm hmm, I know, I know. Bad times. Um. Hey, Lavaru beyond seek. Yeah. 
Yeah, blow him up. Great. Feels good, man. What do you mean, no? Hey. How do you mean, no? There we go. I'll see what I can find. Stairs? Nope, just a pathway. That looks promising. Bounce under me. There was a trap there. There was a trap there. Let me see. Hey. Ready, Watcher. Right. What's this, Itamak? I'm sure she can't disable because she barely can do anything hey. <laughs> with that shit. Um, we've learned the way with these traps, though. Doesn't matter if we can't disable them. Hey. If he falls down, it's not a big deal. Oh, he can't trigger him. Okay. Alright. Well, that's not great. He <laughs> can't pick things up, up, though, so that's a shame. What do you mean dogs can't trip traps? What? Foxes, rather. I'll never get that right. Hey. Alright, let's see if uh, you can handle it. Hopefully, it doesn't take your hit points too badly. It was fine. 60 corrode, it's fine. That wasn't really worth it, though. Laying low. Um, let's see if she has a different perspective here. Slow and silent. Any secrets, Sagani? No, guess not. Hey. I shall be discreet. Hmm. It's uh, one of them. Kestoric, you feel a sharp and sudden pain in your head, immediately followed by harsh and alien voice. Ajik, Kalathua are ne, godlike, Edervasti. The creature makes a peculiar clacking sound before its voice speaks in your mind once more. I name it Trespasser, Killer, Lingerer in the Bright Places. Where is it going? I'm searching for the Master Below. Resolve 18. I fought my way down here from the surface. Do you really think we're going to be the thing that stops me? Get out of my way before you regret every decision you've made in your life up to this point. Nice, Spider. Um... The Vithrak hesitates, mouth parts twitching. Behind it, the others look at you, one another. It is passing, the creature says at last, moving aside. They watch you warily as you go. Nice. Hey. You just intimidated the shit out of that thing. Okay. Well, let's see what his uh, compatriots have to say, but I guess we just uh, avoided some dialogue. Or avoided some fights, hopefully. Are all the spiders going to be our friend now? And what does the flame... And what does the flame... Hmm. Uh, why is Aloth up front? That makes me sad. Oh no. Okay. Shit. I goofed. I done goofed. Hey. Don't care about that diamond. It's not a big deal to me. Mm -hmm. So I'm still getting attacked by spiders. Mac, I can't use your help today. You gotta get out of here. What a troll. She's so fucking clumsy. Laying low. That actually looks like a thing.
Okay. Um, I think we're petrified. Fuck me. Double damage if you're petrified. Holy shit. That's not great. Um, I don't think he can even uh, get into this fight. So we'll have to do our own thing. Through me. Here, you're gonna be fine, dude. Relax. Hey. You're not getting through me. Leave it. Um, I don't think these really hurt him at all. This will try. Nothing, right? Not too long. That's it. You're not getting through me. Leave it to me. Stop doing that. Hey, you're not getting. Me. I know you're paralyzed. You can get through it. I believe in you. Good times. Um, are we in combat? Hey. Oh, I think we're taking damage from a trap still. Or something. There we go. I shall be discreet. Addendum, the Blade of the Endless Paths. A path, a great and ancient weapon has been dismantled. Did I find more pieces? Did I? How is that updated? Um. Okay, I guess we got the item. I didn't recall seeing it, but okay. Whatever you say. Um, we have three parts, I guess. Hmm. How do I know when I have all the pieces? He wondered. I have to take a nap soon. My hit points are really low. Steady does it. Oh, you're a different one. Feel scratching sensation in your head, followed by a sudden high-pitched ringing. Scattered images flash within your mind's eye. You see a massive nest set against a cavern wall, stretching up into the darkness, a vast network of webs somewhere far beneath the surface. You see, too, the sentries you have recently slain, their bodies lying crumpled on the cavern floor. When the images fade, you see another of the spider-faced creatures standing before you. Raises its claws hands, you feel another twinge inside your skull. Then words emerge within your mind in a voice wholly alien to your thoughts. Orek Duvathi, Orat Uvruk. The creature pauses, its fangs twitching. Uh, there are a couple options. That is a very old dialect. Do you know any Adirian? The creature makes a strange chittering noise in your head and you hear. Age of tongue, many turns of wheels since last given thought. Animal is trespassing. Nests are here, risk much in defending. Protectors are dead. Animal is sated. Animal listens now. The creature makes a clacking sound. I'll listen. There's no need for any more fighting. I'm not an animal. Those guards attack me first. I'll listen. There's no need for more fighting. Yes, animal is not needing to fight. The creature spreads its arm. Vithrak greets you. Welcome to Nest. Animal is keeping peace. Thanks. Tell me about the Vithrak. The Vithrak looks at you for a moment, then down at itself. Back. What is godlike animal? Vithrak people. See what others do not. See light inside dull shell. It points at you. See great and burning light. I do that too. Vithrak speak without voices, and in many, 
hundreds of souls in great city. Uh, Stravignara's colony, a great co uh, journey. Animal would walk a long time to reach it. Okay. What's the colony like? Great light and darkness. The Vithrax voice seems somber for all its peculiarly ethereal quality. Many hearts lives together, building. The Vithrax bows its head. Someday we return. What are you doing here? Vithrax searching, seeking knowledge for home, for colony. Stravdek Narith, far away, long time. We have searched. We grew sick with memory of home. Made nests, made new home, and found what we seek. Master of this place. The Vithrax gestures at the walls around you. Grew Audra, not cutting, breaking, growing, shaping. If Vithrax could find secret. Making great works, statue, machines. Vithrak could weave silk and Andra both. Our nest becomes stronger. Colony becomes stronger. All of us weaving great works. You feel a sudden melancholy from the Vithrak. We are close. Finding machines, crystals. But finding Andra men, too, in place below. Have lost many. Too many. And regards you with sudden interest. Godlike animal strong. Defeated other animals. Killed guards. Could help Vithrak. What are you looking for? Things for study. Things of Andra. All in the ruins below. Okay. Yeah, I'll help these guys out. They seem pretty chill. Um, other than the trying to kill me part. Must see how Audnua makes Audra men. Audra shells, yes. Animal does not need to kill Audra men. Just needs shells. Also needing part for machine. Part like heart of the machine. Audra and shining metal. The Vithrak thinks a moment. Last piece is Audra. Not the Audra from walls. It's different. Pure. Hard to find. Charak is hoping there is some below. If godlike animal brings these things, Vithrak owe animal great debt. We'll help colony. Help us can go home. After so waiting for this great thing, Charak would reward him. Okay. Yeah, let's see what I can find. Makes a peculiar clacking sound, and as your mind you feel a hazy gratitude. Then Charak is grateful. Way to ruin lies east. Scouts have carved through stone, found stairs, found more than stairs. They guard us now from what is beneath. Animal must explain task, and Ketstorik lets pass in peace. Okay, well I already kind of intimidated him. He's not kind. Animal is taking care. Oh, neat. We got a new quest. Okay, can I just steal from you, sir? Pardon me while I steal from your ass. Don't need that. And I don't really need that. Hey. Okay. Alright. That was cool. Good times. Got through a level without having to rest. Not so bad. Oops. Wolfie, where are you? Hey. Not troubling you, dude. We're gonna be pals. Um, I've reached the ruins below the caves and can begin my search. The Vithrak have asked me to acquire three items. A refined Adra crystal, the armor of one of the Adra-laced animats, the room, the area, and a piece from one of the ancient Ingwithin machines. This will hopefully provide the Vithrak with enough material to base their own experiments on. Scientific spiders. I'd like it. Interesting. Daddy does it. Okay. I may wind up getting my ass kicked in this next fight, but we'll see. Um, I like fighting vessels most. Let's see here. Yes. This. Cool. Um... This one? Oh, why can't you do it? Do you have any ailments? What's happening to you, pal? Um, no, you should be okay. Why can't you do it? Hey, there you go. Leave it to me.
Take his ass down. Fuck him up. Not get one more time, please. Get through me. Leave it to me. Barely doing damage to him. Unexpected. Awakened Audra. Of course. Interesting. Come help me here. The spirit holds his hands just above the shattered machine. Poises as if to pull on some unseen component. Brace there and you'll be rid of this one. Each word seems to resolve itself in your mind an instant after it's spoken, as you recall the Ingwithan tongue. He waits a moment, evidently waiting for someone to take a position. Uh, pull hard now. There, he sags back, wiping his brow. These machines, think how many souls have felt their touch. How many of those willing, I wonder, stay silent. It will not be long now. We've killed the tyrant, routed his people. We can ensure this never happens again. Come, they've already started sealing the upper floors. We'll be the last out at this rate. Um, Dauros means to work some spell upon that door. Use Adnu as servants against him. What kind of spell? He cannot make the door entirely, but he can change its purpose. The oath, you see. If Adnu as servants are pledged to his defense, then we shall pledge ourselves to his destruction. The man leaves, gives you a fierce grin, turns away, and from one step to another he has faith, only to appear once more beside the machine. Weird. Spirit toils silently the broken machine, straining to pull free components long destroyed. Uh, you're breaking the machines? It would go faster if we knew what enchantments were upon them. They might as easily be activated as destroyed. He grins. Don't worry, I knew what I was doing. Come, they've already started sealing the upper floors. Door? There must be a hundred souls affixed to that stone. Punishment, no doubt. Perhaps they will be pleased, knowing that Anua awaits in the afterlife. What happened here? Do not worry, with Anua slain, um, the rest have shown their true colors. Most have fled. Some scattered into the tunnels, the fools. Come, they've already started sealing the upper floors. Yep, we're done. Sure. Hey. I shall be discreet. Nice. I love getting through all these fights without a uh, uh, using a camp because I'm like that. Oops. Hey, hey, gonna have to heal soon though. Steady does it. This map is big. I 
think we're going to get attacked by spirits in here. as if a battle took place here. Thank you. Kangula. I don't know what that is. But it sounds badass. Oh, where'd you come from, you fucker? Okay. Um. Can you knock down a spirit? Okay, Aloth, you're fine. It's alright if you get hurt a little. We'll be okay. Did another one show up? What the fuck? Holy shit. I think they doubled up on this just then. Hmm... Thought we were in good shape, and then it all went to shit. I'm here. Okay. Um. Hey. What? Paralyzed, motherfucker. Um, not ideal, not ideal. Should have saved. I'm sorry. Uh, super paralyzed right now. Okay, we got a couple. That's good. We'll be all right. Almost going down, which we can live with. So Durance, I'd love for you to fuck this guy's day up. Field dressing on him now. Any more in you? Get him! Get him! You need to just run away, dude. You need to get out of here. All right, then. Let's get out of combat and save and save and heal. That's what we do. Run away from him. Um. This seems like a good mix right here. Accuracy doesn't do shit. Damage reduction too. Nice. I didn't know I had that. That's because I'm uh put up survival. 
<sighs> nice. <laughs> this is funny. That makes me laugh. Name error. Big bug. Sorry, fellas. Um. Okay. Hey. Did we get a uh, get anything for that? By the way. Um. He's quite furious. I don't think we got any money for it or anything, but whatever. It's fine. Of course. Brave does not believe. That's not very helpful. Not even slowing it. Get him! Come on, Foxy. There we go. Huh? Hey. Hey. Keeping quiet. Got a ruby. A camp, perfect. Always something new. Um, that's fine. That's not a big deal. Hi, spirit. Um, this hazy figure is tall and heavily built, and its shifting, indistinct face is turning toward the floor, as if it were deep in thought. You hear a faint murmuring in the rolling cadence of prayer. From time to time, the spirit seems to sway in place. place. As you approach, the spirit raises his voice, and you recognize the familiar sounds of the Inguithan tongue. And no more shall souls splinter upon the wheel. Hear me, great father. I am pledged against your foes, and the greatest of these is death. Listen. The spirit turns its face towards you in a swift motion. For a moment, its features blur. And then, and then resolve into what appears to be a man's visage, its eyes fixed upon you. You are late. Um, sorry, I was delayed. He turns his face away. They will be here soon to cast us down, to unmake our work. It is nearly too late. God spare me from vague spirits. Too late for what? <laughs> what must we do? He shifts, standing straighter. Are you ready? He raises his hand, and you think you see the glint of metal. Though a second glance reveals nothing. They have placed your crest upon the animat, alongside my own. The Animats, you're going to sacrifice yourself? He shakes his head. Those of faith remain, and we are children of the wheel. Death is not for us. The spirit's gaze slides away from you as you depart. Even as you move away, he reaches an arm for something else, smiling. Huh. Hello? You're late. For what? Our work? If they knew, perhaps they would understand. If they heard the sisters speak. In foreign lands, they leave their madmen to suffer alone, or else cast these same out from their sight. Meanwhile, we have carved ourselves like smooth stone, polished the virtues within us, flens flensing away the weakness. What is flensing? Um, is that not, not just? Is that not kinder than anything that came between or before? He shifts standing straighter. Are you ready? Uh -huh. Back away. Hey. Doors. Hey. Um, I guess we're okay. Let's see what lies this way. Found a crystal of pure refined Audra. Nice. That sound sucks and I hate it. Get the fuck out of here. You need to leave. Shit. It's not quite how I pictured in my mind. Huh? 
Huh? Um. Fuck me. All the time. Are we always to be paralyzed? Wolfie went down like a sack of shit. Handed to her right now. No. Fuck me, dude. Ugh. All right, I can't have that. Took her down in no time. Whew. Getting through me. All right, let's do this thing. Come on. They slip behind me. There's nothing I can do. This, this uh, character positioning is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Um, this is the best way. Let's get everybody in here. Hey. Hey. Ready, watcher. Hey. They'll probably still slip behind me because they can frickin' teleport like assholes. And they do. Morning, Choppies. How are you? Thanks again for yesterday, man. Holy shit. Hey, cowards. Get back here. That was an extremely fun stream yesterday. Come on, cowards. Let's go. Chase Wolfie. Hey. Times. Yeah, he started a war. Kind of stuck over here. Sorry, guys. Leave it to me. There we go. That's one way to go about it. All right then. All right then. Cheese the shit out of these boys. Because they're tough. Hey. Hey. How are you doing today so far? I am cold because it's freaking freezing in my area. Brave Just woke up. That's a good place to be. Yeah, I did the same. Oops. Just you guys back here. There we go. That'll work out fine. Um, Wolfie's down, which is too bad, but we'll wake him up. I'm gonna do this thing. Or am I? Am I going to do this thing? No, that's not what I need. I need, um... This one. Burn. It's 
eight ish it is nine ish here kind of stuck over here yeah. are you gonna do the thing yeah you Um, all right. Durance, get in there with one of these. Yeah. Love that move. How'd you get paralyzed? Stand still. Frickin' go down. How oh, bad? Um, what else we got here? I'm stuck. I know we're okay. stuck. We're always stuck. <laughs> um, I need to help my dude right now. Can't really do much against spirits, it turns out. You're not getting through me. Leave it Take to her me. down. Fuck her up. I'm with you, Aloth. It's all bullshit. Ah, thank God that rock. You're not getting through me. Finally. Okay, um, why don't you feel dress our boy? Hey, I guess good job. I don't know why he makes mechanical noises when he does that, but okay. I don't know if there are any more, there could be. Another spirit. And another hidden wall. And not very hidden. <laughs> A hidden door, rather. Uh, A hazy form stands before you. From time to time, blurring features resolve into what you take to be an elven man. I can't do this anymore. How am I going to explain? How can we possibly give him what he wants? The spirit squeaks in quick, hushed bursts of with him. Shakes his head as if to answer his own questions. He's going to kill me. He's killed so many. Why should you stop here? Who are you? He has brought so many people down here. I hear such terrible things from the upper floors. Even here, these these constructs, I cannot sleep. I think sometimes that I will wake and find myself inside one of the animats. Will I even know? Will it not be like waking one day to find myself blind and mute? How could how could you do all this? Uh, what are you doing here? I'm I'm hiding. I passed by one of the machines and I suddenly I couldn't breathe. I was thinking about the work we've done, the things we've seen, even. How even small deeds can scar the soul. Is mine so ragged? Will Adnua's son be grateful when we have torn him from his rest? Are you still loyal to Adnua? Of course, I'm a devoted servant. His voice goes high with terror. I didn't mean... Please, I never meant that I would ever renounce my oaths. 
Do you know the way past the speaking door? I know the oath, of course. We speak it every day. I am servant to Adnua. My sword and arm is pledged against his enemies. My soul is sworn to his purpose. The spirit seems to curl on himself. Sworn. Does that hey. mean I, I can open the door now? Uh, what does he want? Um, the figure paces a few steps, raising his hands to his temples. What we cannot give him, even after all this time, there is so much we do not know. He wants his son, the boy he knew, whole and preserved, returned to him. But people, souls, they don't always remember. Who's to say a son will remember being a son at all? Remember his father's face? I've seen mothers forget their children. How could you do all this? I didn't think it would go so far. Um, wait, I didn't mean to do that. I'm not seeing that. I'm only frightened. Uh, okay, hold on. Say nothing. It is only that I fear him. The figure shivers, looking at something beyond you. One may fear a lord and obey him still. It is, in fact, far easier than the alternative. I guess that's true. Um, are we done with your dialogue yet? Okay. I guess that's hey. not the door. Alright, how are we doing map-wise? Jesus, we barely cleared this map out. Alright, then. Hey. I'm on the trail. Man, she can't deactivate shit these days. It's pretty disappointing. Hey. Always something new. <sighs> Guys. Uh, you gotta take better care of Ella. Fucking idiots. <sighs> Man. They really should have programmed in some AI where it's like, okay, we've identified a trap. Uh, let's not walk on it, regardless of what the random assortment of uh, player positions you guys put together is. You silly idiots. Just have a dare walk through all that shit. Because he can take it. Nice and quiet. Um, okay, that should do. Hey. No, no, idiots! God, you're so dumb. Hey. Just you. Thank you. It's driving me insane. That was pretty big damage. Get up, right. I guess he can't take it. <laughs> I guess he can't take it. Now it is possible hey. to just run through these things and like... Alright then. Yeah, that was even more damage that time. Sadly. A large and within door stands before you. To either side rest large crystals glowing with a faint light. You feel a peculiar change in the air, as if some presence were nearby. Yet there's nobody to be seen. You hear a whisper as if from thin air. From the general direction of the door it grows in both volume and number, many voices speaking quietly. In moments it has become a chaotic hiss of voices, each vying to be heard. But as you listen, the voices begin to settle into a cadence, and then into words, a phrase spoken by many at once. Beneath stone and weight of years rests one who would slay death. Who comes to wake him? Let's see. Never heard these words before. Beneath the elderly. No, that can't be right. <laughs> um, okay, we'll say the password later, but I want to explore the rest of this zone first. Uh, 
Oh, a trap missed me. Nice. I'm actually going to save that. Whoops. That poop just fell. There we go. Ready, watcher. Hey. Ouch. That's all right. Not so bad. Damn it, Eater. Are you serious? You walk back through that shit like a dumbass. Because I made you. Because I'm stupid. Right. Hey. I'll just rest again if I have to. Um, of course. They keep giving me free camps, so that's fine. Great. Okay. Should be able to hurt him pretty well. You do this thing, which I love. What? Hey. Whore of a goddess, he says. I love this dude. Hey. Paralyzed as hell right now. Damn it. I hate when they teleport. Attack an Enomanon, or not an you know what I mean. Following your Ooh, more spirits. Lots more spirits. Hey. Hi. I can't really talk to any of them. There's one I can talk to. The spirit stands stiffly at attention, her gaze focused on the end of the hallway. One arm bears up a heavy round shield, though the rippling blur of soul energy obscures what lies upon it. Hello? Her head turns a little. They pass the Blight Forges. If the Overseers live, we may stop them in the chambers beneath, she snorts. If Kaviros and his pack of scheming wizards haven't betrayed us. The mob may be on us soon. Better to peace, make peace with whatever god you will have. She pauses, looking at you. Are you afraid? Yes. She nods once and turns away again. No shame in that. You're still here. The sisters have gone below to hide beneath our newest robes, or else preserve our lord's life. Depends on how you look at it. These children of the wheel, what do they care about Adnua's grief? They think he's promised them immortality, and now they've killed us in the pursuit of it. Um, children of the wheel? While well, Adnua contents himself with the titan, they dig after the very heart of heaven. She gives a sour laugh. Madness, all of it. And yet, Adnua holds them close at his side. None of this would have happened if not for them. They have driven our great lord from grief and into madness, pushed him into these deeds. He was a great king, perhaps he will be again. Come, we'll rally the defense at the steps. Funnel them into our blades. With the Anamots beside us, they won't stand a chance. Mac! Don't do that. The spirit gasps wordlessly, mouth agape. She gropes for something at her back, unseen, and takes a listing step sideways, away from you. Her eyes wide, gaze into yours. You trait! Her leg buckles and she falls. The misty lights, which form her shape, thin and scatter. 
Oh. Okay, I guess she got betrayed. That sucks. I'm sorry. I'll take a look. Oh, look at these guys. Got battles on a couple of fronts here. That's not great. That's no perfect. Okay, endurance. You do this thing. You. No, you step up and you do the thing too. Good job. Um, knock his ass down, please. That's no perfect. I don't usually fight this way. It's kind of interesting. Um, did you both do it? Yeah, you did. Okay. So I'm down here looking for um, okay. <laughs> some shit for some spiders. Great. Not beetles, spiders. Let's see what lies this way. More cool stuff. I should keep these really good potions. Because, um, I have a lot of wussy potions that I still have on my item list, but I shouldn't use them. We have Audra Shell. Oh, great. Hey. Keeping quiet. What's this, Itamak? It's okay. I don't really need to deactivate it. I know. Sagani sucks. She needs another level up so she okay. can get some uh, better mechanics. Dare me go down, which is fine. Just heal him up again. Yeah. I love that. Does mega damage on him. Do it again. Some cool shit too, please. Huh? What? 
Come on, dude. Don't go down, please. I think the Audra ones are the badasses. You're not getting through me. Um, uh, man, so little of my shit does any real damage. Kill his ass. Nice. Can't get any shit. You're not getting through me. That's all right. We should win easy. We'll be okay. Even if he goes down, it's not a big deal. I never use a chance. I really should. Strange mechanisms have cracked in several places, and some components appear to have been dismantled. There's no clear means hey. of activating them. I shall be quiet as a calm sea. That chest is trapped. Which is not very quiet. Ready, Watcher. No. Exceptional pistol. Okay, that's not what I need, though. Hey. Last thing I need to get through is that speaking door, but I need to get in here, too. I think that's the last thing we have to clear out other than the door. And this, which I'll never get behind because I don't understand them. Grave does Endurance. Can you knock them down? I don't think you can. Did he go down? Not yet. Okay. He will soon, though. Inconvenient. Are we all paralyzed? Fuck that. Okay. Hey. I'm on the trail. God, there's more? Why? Stop it. What's this, Itamak? Oh, you did it. Wow, I'm impressed. Eh, 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 stop, stop hey. everything. Not that time. Hey. All right. Let's so everybody step back. I don't think Sagani can take this, but we'll see what she can do. So what if she falls Ready, down? We're going to take a nap soon anyway. It's all right. Or I'll just open the thing. We got the machine part. We should have everything we need. Nice. Okay, let's go do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got Sagani. Bam, down she goes. And she's away. Hey. Let's do it. I have no idea what the end of this quest is going to be. I feel like we're going <laughs> to... This could could be bad for us. I'm sure Aloth will have an opinion. He always does.
<sighs> it lives and it stinks of dust and old souls. Does it have the address to Chark wants? I found the samples. I'll take them back to your leader now. Oh, he's going to kill me. Nay, Lingerer steps forward. Give us what Chark demands. This is not for an outsider. Crawling worm amongst giants. Give it here. I did it for the sake of your people. Are you so selfish you'd risk that just so you can take credit? You think you frightened me? Dacharak asked me to do this because you couldn't. Oh, shit. You feel a sudden pulsing wave of anger. It is so clever-tongued, this trespasser. I will feed it to the spiders. Let them drain the juice from its eyes. Um, what does it know of the endless paths? The Vithrak growls. It walks them but a little while. It growls. It uses trickery to pass the Adraman. That's true. I did this for the sake of your people. That's right. It knows nothing. It speaks nothing. Give me the Adra. No. One of the other scouts suddenly speaks, hesitant, historic. Animal speaks sense. What? It mules like a shuddering whelp. Why fight me? I give these to Chark, and we both get what we want. It's true. But there only stares at you for a moment, growling in the back of its throat. You sense anxiety from the scouts. Historic. Enough. It has what it wishes. The Vithrak makes a violent gesture with one clawed hand. It returns to Chark, leaves us in peace. Go. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck off. I understand why they'd want to do that, though. God, I'd love to have a huge spider pal. Oh, man, I want that. All I can have is little beetle pals so far. Boring. Um, hopefully Tachark is on the level. He may not be. But he seems like a good dude. Greets you, godlike animal. It has been below. It is, is, it has what we seek. Give him the items. <laughs> Your scouts were so grateful. They try to ambush me. I should rat him out. You feel phantom fingers. He sees. Is sorry for what he does. He speaks to scouts. Explains. It's not like harming godlike animal. Here, Tachar gives this. Is making peace. Yes. Here's the items. You feel another passing itch in your skull and then a ripping echo of joy. The Vithrak owe a great debt. With these we study, learn master's secrets. We make statues. Greater than old dead master of Hollow Place. Stravic Narath will gleam like the sea. Um, we thank you. Is having coin is custom, yes? Oh good, he gave me money. I love spiders having money. Um, Vithrak have coins of many ages. We'll give many. <laughs> exactly 2,000. If godlike animal goes into the deep places, should talk to Kriffy. Kriffy has supplies. We'll help. Awesome. Shark is given this also, found in tunnels, and does not suit Fithrak. Keeps godlike safe, yes, will bring fortune? Hope so. Glad to help, Tachark. Fithrak, remember, long after sun falls into sea, this is start of something. New turn of the wheel, Tachark turns toward the nest lining the wall. Young will live in better place. Awesome. We did good times. We completed okay. a quest. The Unworn Path. Interesting. Patrick Boots, average item. Mac, would you stop revealing the sunlight onto my camera? You're going to cause some pretty significant glare issues pretty soon. Um, among the kind wayfarers, in the event that a member of the Order dies of natural causes, it is customary for the Paladin to request burial in a dangerous place that is difficult to reach. Fulfilling their lost comrade's request, the other kind wearers forged new paths that others may more easily follow. When the elder paladin Adrim Delphar died, his brothers and sisters set out for Redflower Lake in a remote eastern part of Rhaeseris, but they never reached their destination. With so few kind wayfarers left in that part of the eastern reach, the Order has reached out for assistance in recovering their comrades and helping see them to their resting place. Have at it. Hey. Okay, back downstairs. Hopefully we can find a uh, master staircase soon. May not be the case. This game has a handful of bugs. One of them is coming up right now. The scroll is just kind of sitting there. You must gather your. Hopefully that disappears with this loading screen. Nope. Alright, I'm gonna have that nap.
Durance, your eyes open to a familiar scene. Durance sits with his staff laid upon his lap, a malignant flame spouting from one end. He is difficult to make out, his features soft, bleeding together. But the staff you see, you can see clearly. Its etching is aglow in molten orange. Though Durance's face is difficult to distinguish, there is no mistaking the hardened expression. A furrowed brow, his voice hisses and sputters, low and unintelligible, as though having a private argument with the staff. Traces of spittle catch the firelight as they fly from his lips like sparks. And to your surprise, there is a female figure behind him. You're about to call out a warning when you realize it is the Mogren statue where you met Durance at the fork. Yet she seemed almost alive for a moment. Her cast shadow seemed as if it was moving, cloaked. Then it is still, frozen with the knight at its back. Examine the staff. There is something odd about one of the symbols, a circle of twelve smaller circles. One of the small circles grows, glows brightly, but the other eleven give off little light. They flicker and fade like dying embers. Between his hissing curses, Durance lowers his face close to the staff and blows on the fading circles with panicked rapidity, coaxing light from them. But they do not ignite. One by one, the light of the circles dies, and smoke rises from their ashes. Only one still burns. Durance hurls the staff at his feet, and it clatters to the ground. Its edges have become soft, difficult to find, like its owner. The staff has become a blur. You close your eyes and reopen them, and Durance is there, picking up his staff from the ground. But the blur is gone, and you are awake. Okay, more of this guy. Um, do I want to do this now? What? Yeah, <laughs> we'll do it now. Um, I had questions. If doubts and curiosity plague you, you're skinning your knuckles on the wrong door. I had another vision of you. You see many things that aren't there, Watcher. Hmm. Perhaps the symbol was for your disappearing sanity, and we are to bid it farewell while you still <sighs> have the wits to grieve for it. I saw a symbol of twelve circles. What does it that represent? Symbol, the God Hammer. Then it was the God Hammer symbol I saw extinguished on your staff. <laughs> no riddle there, Watcher. It took twelve of us to build the God Hammer. Oh, I see. Afterward, I took my leave of all of them to see what Margren had in store for me. I've seen none of them since. Are you sure there isn't more to that story? Your kind has a way of interpreting its visions to fit the version of the truth you like best. I'm just asking but questions, Margaret's bro. But Margren's flame Relax. leaves no room for interpretation. Waste the time of others with your distortions and your fever dreams. <laughs> I know what I saw, dickhead. Flames distort all that lies around them, and you never seem to be far from a flame. That's true. Flame may leave no doubt as to what or what where they are, but why... They are as anyone's guess. Yeah, this one. It's always the way of the mad to try to convince others of a reality only they can see. Uh, Durance. But when your doctrine's the truth, glass it houses requires do. no convincing, only an opening of the eyes. I would purify you, Watcher, if I thought it would help. Something else? The cost of troubling. Huh. I suspect the answers will see. Hmm. Durance was evasive. Yeah, that seems to be happening a lot with my friendships lately. When I asked him about the fading circles on the staff, he claimed it represents his lost connection with the other engineers. Of the Godhammer, whom he left behind to follow his own path after the destruction of Aethys. The time is right. I'll see if there isn't more to be learned about this. Following um, your lead. What a mess. The Duke's death was, if you'll forgive me saying it, perfectly timed. Defiance Bay will be a long time recovering. Um, I wasn't sure you'd manage it with Morley there, but I think you would have convinced the Duke to decide in the sanitarium's favor. Um, it's a science like any other. Why should the Deerwood remain a backwater? I think it's hard for people to look past their own loss. It's easier to blame Anamancy for the Hollowborn than to accept that there's no explanation. No cure. No cure yet, anyway. I do think you changed some minds in there. When Order returns to Defiance Bay, they'll remember what you said. Okay, thanks, dude. Following your lead. Yes, Just my friend? Checking in with these guys. How you doing? Okay. All right, bye. Hey. Hey. What's on your mind? Tell me about your brother. I haven't done this one yet. Woden was uh, about everything you'd want your firstborn son to be. Dutiful, honest. Put thought into everything he did. <laughs> Real pain in my ass. Made me look bad about every way he could. It wasn't something he tried to do, but of course that just makes it worse. Not that he didn't get into trouble himself. He was just better about feeling guilty after. 
But we used to have this farmer near us, Harroward. Couldn't stop talking about how well he cared for his chickens. How their feathers were the whitest in town. Convinced the butcher to pay him double what the other farmers got. For white feathers? It's a butcher. Me and Woden got tired of hearing it. I was maybe 11, 12 at the time. Oh, we, man. Uh, we borrowed about six different dyes from the dyer one night. He dyed Harroward's chickens every color but white. Next morning, the butcher comes knocking, asking for six of his whitest chickens. <laughs> we were feeling great. Up until Harroward saw what we'd done. And he just got on his knees and cried right there. All those colorful chickens around him not knowing what to make of it. I thought it served him right, but I could tell Woden had other thoughts. Sure enough, the next day, every one of those chickens had been scrubbed down. They weren't white, mind you, but Woden sure tried. What a good guy. Never said a word to me about it, but I knew. That was Woden. My parents, they always let us be who we were. Never told me to be more like him or anything like that. Which was good, because I was never gonna. What's on your mind? It makes two of us. What's on your mind? Alright, I guess we're good there. Ready, watcher. Anything from Sagani? Haven't talked to her in forever. We're good. Um. Hmm? If doubts and curiosity. Okay. He doesn't have anything. Hey. All right, we're good. We can move on. We've checked in with the team. Nice and quiet. Let's open this door. Once more, the buzzing swarm, huh? Beneath the stone, wait, yeah, oh. So, we got the words. I am servant Todd Nua. My sore arm is pledged against his enemies. My soul is sworn to his purpose. You feel peculiar in the air, and... Um, the voice grows sharp and tense. Here pass, no traitors. We are struck by a sudden lashing arc of energy from the door, and a sharp, piercing pain. But after a few moments, only the memory of it lingers. The voice is quiet and fade, leaving you alone. Does that mean the door is open? I am enemy, Dodd Nua. It's true. I am Star Platinum, rightful lord. That's right. And then fades so swiftly and jarring, then the silence that follows jarring. Nothing follows, it seems you have been dismissed. So keep trying. An enemy, Dodd Nua. Okay, I guess that's what we needed. I thought he said, I am servant to. Interesting. Door slides open, the crystals to either side of a dim, and with the light go the voices, fading first the murmuring whispers and then silence path is clear. Ready, watcher. I have the feeling something crazy is going to be back here. Wow. Uh, okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is a thing. Um, alright. Let's see what we can do. Um... Holy fuck, there's a lot of them. Oh my god. Um, okay, uh, uh. Well, we hurt him the worst. That's good. So this is an ideal. We need to definitely start that over, because that's not going to be the fight. Um, yeah, we need to uh, we need to get the good strats going for this one. Oh, man, I gotta fix that. Uh, yeah, I've said it before. Those lights behind me are just uh, some reflection of the sun off of my washing machine, and then hey. coming through. 
uh, my, uh, my green screen. Hey. Hey. Hey, does he not kill you? Um, I don't see any reason to not fucking drop everything on these guys. So let's do that. so much. Just do the right thing, idiots. Good attacks. I don't really love where Eater is, but it's okay. Hey. Edumac, don't do that. Why are you back here, Edumac? No! You stupid idiots! All right, God damn it! They broke the line like fucking morons. Um. My son, do you see your sisters across the moor? Amasses where stray soul fragments to form two will of the wisps. Okay, let's do that. Let's also get some uh, skellies out here. Do some work. Nice. Interesting. Um, I like this one too. Let's do that. We're fine. You are going to do the thing, right, Duras? There it is. Okay. Why are they barely injured? Did I kill you? Are you getting heals from something? I don't like that. Okay, we're doing fine. Um, she may go down soon because she's right in the middle of shit. Yeah, that's not great. That's okay. As long as we win the fight, this is a big fight. Cannot be understated. We do have revives, don't we? Yeah, that one. Good. 
Can't really tell, tell who's down in all this uh, bullshit right here. them? I don't think you did, man. Always dominate. Okay, we lose. We lose that fight. Shit. That's gonna be a tough one. Uh, when we broke rank, that was what killed us. You two need to hey. never fucking move from this spot. I'm sure you will, because you're fucking idiots, but whatever. Kind of wish he wasn't first. Kind of wish I could take out these other guys first, but whatever. Um, you do the black hole. You bless the rains. Fuck me. Okay, that door's wider than I thought. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Hmm. Ready, watcher. Could have Sagani lay traps, whatever that means. Hey. Again. Um. Okay. No, guys. Well, me. Never stop doing this. We're gonna have to put everything into this fight. Leave nothing to chance. Good hits. Do it again. Do it again. Okay, we're doing all right. Continue. Continue. Yeah, killing him will be key. That's fine, probably. Let's bring out the wisps. More, always more. 
It's all right if you go down. I don't care. Well, I kind of care. But... More. Come on, come on. God damn it. They healed. I can't fucking handle it when they heal, dude. What the hell is healing them? Motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck it. He's, he's already back to full health. What is healing them? That drives me insane because I can't tell what's actually doing it to them. I can't fucking heal. Everything else but Red me can water. heal. Hey. That was a good run, too. I take it it's this thing, maybe. Or those. He's down, motherfucker. Okay. I can't have the wolf go down right away. I'm sorry, guys. This is going to be a lot of reloading on this fight. It's a tough one. Yeah, it's a tough one. Hey. Hey. I'm here. Hey. Damn it! I can't let him through that doorway. I don't want to fight the Guardian one first because he's taking the most hits. I would prefer to fight the uh, little ones first so I can at least get a couple of deaths hey. in. But then I try to move, and it's just like, fuck. Yeah, I was trying to be clever. That was never going to work. <sighs> hey. Awesome, perfect. They just slip through because um, I can't move. When I try to move around enemies, no, no, it's not going to fucking happen. But uh, they can go wherever they fucking please because, yeah, video games, right? All right, I'm going to try a different tactic. Ready, watcher. I'm going to see if I can maybe get a couple of them to de-aggro. wish I had a doorway to work with here, but I don't. Hey. So, let's try it. We did it! Okay, great. We only have two of them now. Perfect. That's fine. Three is fine. Tiger, how are you? Oh my god, yes, they will stand for eternity because I've been playing this game for eternity. I'm well. How are you? How's every little thing? How's your morning? Uh, what to kill first? I guess this is... Let's 
Let's see, let's do this. Um, you give me some helpies, thank you. I've been in this fight for a little while now. This is a tough one. Um it's all fine. Awesome, more Tails. Yeah, yeah, the uh, remaster just came out. I'll probably do that one eventually. Um, I think I mentioned before, I got tails out with uh, playing Zestaria and Bursaria back-to-back. But uh, that's what I really want to get to. Um, what anime, what animus are you watching lately? Because um, I watched the first episode of Promised Neverland, and that's going to be a really good one. That's going to be a great anime. That's going to be the one people talk about. Cheese the shit out of these guys, didn't I? God, I hate when they start just breaking shit up. It really bothers me. Why are you healed now? What the fuck? Oh, I guess he's healing him, huh? Alright. All right, guess we got to do this again, huh? Um, <laughs> the 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 reincarnate is a slime one. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I've seen that one. I, I probably won't get into that one myself. Although, I'm not too opposed to harem ones, but uh. Um, hey. yeah. Well, that's cool. Um, yeah, I see, um, I, I, I don't know if you say RWBY. I know it's very popular, though, and, uh, I, I know the shipping is real don't on that show. Yeah. Okay. Do this again. Oops. Actually, uh, where are you? me. Okay, we're all kind of stuck in one area here. It's not ideal. Yeah, just gotta kill one. It's fine. Just gotta kill one. This isn't Leave it to me. Well, make it work, guys. Um, we're both gonna do this. We're gonna double up on this shit. <laughs> Hopefully we can get him off. So to speak. Tons of shipping. <laughs> it's good the creator died. Oh, that's sad. Okay. Well, I mean, it's good that it's going on, but that's always sad. Especially when, you know, they probably had a vision for it, and I guess maybe it won't get realized. But hopefully the uh, people who took over will do the right thing. Um. Sure, whatever, dude. Good shot with this. All right, we'll be fine. We'll be fine, probably. Yeah. Uh, you're down. Aloth is going down. <laughs> um. Hopefully, we don't die. That would make me very sad. Kill him! Nice. Why can't I get second wind going? Yep, um, Promise Neverland is gonna be good. I'm waiting for Attack on Titan to come back. Um, I just finished Castlevania on Netflix. That was really good. Really, really good. Um, but okay, that's awesome. Well, I should have put that down. That would have been a good idea.
Come on, guys. We can't lose to this guy again. And don't let him heal, for God's sake. Whatever you do, don't let him heal. Did you miss the two Mac? Come on, dude. Can't be having that. Um. Hmm. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Uh, well, let's um, let's get a revive back because um, Aloth and Durant are down. Can't get a good shot. Okay. Back in business. What can you do for us? Decreases the duration of defense against hobbled. That's not that great. Calls beyond the shroud and summons a phantom to fight for the party. Let's do that. That's like fun. Cool. Let's get some skellies out too, just for fun. Can't get a good shot. Nice. Sick, nasty, fresh. Okay, we're doing all right. Let's get some endurance back. Yeah. Very nice. Hopefully he doesn't heal again, but he might. Well, I don't want that to affect my team, right? And it shouldn't, hopefully. No, he won't go down. Hopefully he doesn't re, re heal. I think we'll be okay. Blind him. Or not. I'll just blind my own team. <laughs> I just blinded myself. Smart guy. Uh, let's lay in some of these. Durance, you as well. Durance. That can potentially knock him down, although it doesn't happen very often. That's not very helpful. Hey, we got him. All right. Whew. Fun fight. Good times. Hey. We got an awesome axe. Edge of Reason. Oh, I love these fucking uh, things. Unique battle axe, one-handed. Let's see. Good slash, accuracy, damage. Restored as endurance. Hell yeah. Um... Superb accuracy, excellent damage. Edge of Reason belonged to a barbarian from the Deadfire Archip excuse me, Archipelago who loved the rush of battle. Each strike against his opponent renewed his strength, and each victory only whetted his hunger for further bloodshed. He killed his foes slowly, relishing the ebb and trickle of their life and drawing might from their terror. He grew bolder and more reckless, surrounding himself with enemies to feed upon their collective vulnerabilities. Eventually, he found himself overwhelmed by a mob of combatants, and not even his furious attacks were sufficient to sustain him. Hi, Just Grumpy. How you doing? Uh, good morning to you. Um, we will get this. Let's see. Adair? Got a new weapon for you. Why do you have that equipped? Okay, you know what? Enough of this garbage. Okay. That's a pretty cool looking weapon. Pretty cool indeed. Uh, that in my stash. Uh, I don't need most of this. See, when my guys get dominated, they tend to uh, switch their weapon, which frustrates me to no end. I forgot about that. 
Um, looks like everybody's okay. I forgot about that. I have so many unique uh, weapons. I wish I had more unique uh, armors, like big armors, but it's fine. Okay. Hey. Got pillars a couple of weeks ago, starting a ranger class going for the Stormcaller. Cool. Um, um, ranger is neat. I assume you have an... I think you have an animal companion with that, and uh, the hey. companion I have with an animal companion kicks ass. She doesn't kick ass, but the animal companion kicks ass. But, um, yeah, I really, really like this game so far. A couple of bugs, but that's okay. Oh, he's blinded because he passed out. Okay, that's different. All right. Hey. Now we gotta fight the rest of these guys. I'm here. Hey. Cool. I'm sorry. This is a fox, actually. I always forget. It's actually a fox. It's kind of looks like a fox, although it's a fucking giant wolf. If we're being honest, that's a wolf. Uh, there's a bunch more lads in here. But fortunately, without the guardian guy, they're not going to heal. Okay. Um. I love how much damage that does. Let's kill him dead, please. Oh, we gotta help him out now. Um... Shit, Adair's going down. He'll, he'll get back up, which is fine, but he do better than that. Um, I'm playing a Priest Godlike. This is my main right here. Um, and we have some really cool abilities that we have. Actually, I actually have two Priests in my party, and it's uh, working fine. wonders currently. Hey. Get up, Adair. Come on, dude. Zip-zapped. Okay, we took down the enemy, I think. Thanks. Kitty, how are you? Good morning as well. I'll try not to die. I've already died a million times today. And by died, I mean quick-loaded. <laughs> Uh, we're getting wrecked right now. No, hang on. This isn't working. No, it's not really working. Right now, is it? Breakfast and coffee, very nice. Veranthus. That's not very helpful. 
following your lead. Stand still. Brave does the Lord believe. You're not getting through me. Can't get a good job. That's not very helpful. Yeah, we did it. All right then. Hey. And what does the flame reveal? Hooray! Yeah, we'll have to take a nap, but it's good. And we're getting very close to the end of the endless paths, which are totally have an end. Look at that cool ass throne. That's neat. Man, the area design in this game is top notch. If I'm lucky, I'll have a uh, master staircase right here. So that was tough, but um, the main boss of this place is going to be even tougher. There they are. Nice. Cool map, level 14. All the way back up top. Okay, doing? That Theos guy? No, this is a completely side thing to do. This is a side quest. Um, I have about four or five side quests related to my um, my keep. Yeah. Mm, looks a yeah, the side quests. Before. They go on a long time. A long, long time. Uh, let's take that nap. Well, thanks, Flux, for the lurk. How are you? Yeah. So the side quests are usually pretty worthwhile. Um, I'll go with Resolve. Because they seem to help my dialogue uh, checks. A supplicant has arrived from Deerford Village seeking 850 for an escort. Okay, we'll probably help him out. Gives us prestige, so we do it. I'm worried we're going to get in here and that slave guy is going to be pissed off. Not the slave, but the, uh, the slave, um, uh, God, I can't remember his fucking name. Hello, Mr. Shock Mage. Oh, you work for me. Okay, we're good. We're pals. So another thing I have to do is I have to go to war with a guy who thinks that, uh, my keep is his, but fuck him. Okay, well, let's chat. Hey. I'm ready to chat. Um, unknown path. Okay, that's still in progress. Supplicant, leaving in 19 hours. If ignored, minus 8 prestige? Plus 0 security for 3 days? That's awful. That's fucking horrible. I don't pay this guy 850 bucks and he gets pissed off? What a dick. Um, I know, right? Yeah, I got here, I cleared it out, I killed all the enemies. It belongs to me now. So I'll send an escort. If the end's busy, I'll send my uh, druid dude. Okay. I want to get those people hey. back in the party, but I need him for my Cade Nua missions. Because uh, they're kind of specific to him. Good day, stranger. Mm -hmm. Show me your wares. I have so much to sell again. Look at all the shit I don't need. They give you the bullshit. And it's worth so much. I have infinite money. Uh, it just keeps going. I don't even need this money. What would I use it on? Why would I need an extremely fine cloth tunic? What is that going to do for me? It's like, oh, it looks nice. Booze and women, good call. Good call. 
You're right. Look at this. Ten grand. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, wait. I do need one thing. Actually, that's pretty good. Actually, that's good as well. I do need these tools. <laughs> that's a good point. Um, and one more campsite. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, there we go. Trade. Good trade. Fair. Hey. Um, this is by the makers of Fallout, and thank God they didn't do the thing they did in Fallout. Fallout 1 and 2, where uh, merchants and lots of other RPGs do this as well, where merchants have limited uh, gold. Infinite gold. Thank you, lads. Thank you so much. Okay, let's go back downstairs. Two more floors to get through. Hopefully we can get through them today. I do have some plans later. <clears throat> Amazingly, even I have plans from time to time. Better indeed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I accept. I accept. If you missed that load screen note, it, it mentions the uh, the plaques um, which honor the Kickstarter backers. And it says if you... Uh, they break the fourth wall, like, a lot. So uh, if you value immersion, don't read them. That's funny. Um, that's almost done. Nice. I'm on the trail. Whoa, is this it? This is the whole floor? Oh, man. I guess I was wrong. We only have one floor left. Assuming no enemies down here. Whoa, portal. 30 more floors. <laughs> no. <laughs> you thought you were done, but aha, the endless paths are quite endless. Joke's on you. Oh, there's a guy in that. Oh, it's Avatar The Last Airbender. Neat. Spirit of Adnua, and the spirit of Christmas. The shade emerges like a wound in the world, split open to reveal a hollow darkness. Beneath the writhing crown of shadow lies a gleaming mask bearing the visage of an older man. The silver face turns towards you, features cold and still. From within the pockets of the mask's eyes, guttering fire emits their eerie light. And we got a shitload of experience for him. Who are you? Who His are you? Would you abandon your king? Take up your sword to battle! The enemy has come! Up the stairs after all the trouble I went through to get down here? That's funny. I would like to go with a sarcastic douche uh, playthrough one time. Um, What are you, spirit? You forget the face of your lord? Oh. No. Better to say this that is the you old see king. more clearly than my subjects. Hmm. I have the feeling these guys are all going to get back up and we're going to have to have a fucking fight. He sounds like Durant's... I'm sure, he, yeah, I'm sure they reused uh, voice actors over and over for this one. Um, no doubt about that. Um, before he was Adnua, king in life of a great people in death, master of nothing. Um, you built the endless paths? The endless paths. A thousand hands toiled to create it. But it was my voice. My will that directed them. It does sound like him. The yeah. <laughs> great work of our age. Madrin is a whore. Or it would have been if they had only allowed me to finish. If they understood that from such rotted foundations could emerge wondrous achievement. That the same curse I sought to cure afflicted them in turn. That my son might from one moment to the next be lost to me is abomination. His voice thickens with grief, reverberating through the chamber. He wants only that I should be proud of him. How can a father convince his son that he might accomplish nothing and still be the light of his life? How, if he is gone? So many hours and days spent wondering. If I had been there... Oh, is that his son? If I had been there but a moment earlier. If I had stopped him from leaving that morning, 
If I had only known that I would never see him again. Lost. Mm. Treading these endless paths. These regrets. With him forever moving out of reach. Into some darker place. Away from me. Have they loved nothing in all their lives? Lost nothing. Wives. Husbands. Children. Might I not show them then? The agony of it? Is that your justification? That grief outmatches everyone else's? Your grief outmatches everyone else's? You don't deserve sympathy. I understand your grief, but why all this? What happened? How are you still here? Um, I guess I'll go with this one. I don't wanna I don't wanna coax this guy into um unleashing an army of badasses against me, for instance. Let's play it cool. It did not start so. How could it? I was mad with grief. I summoned workers, mages, servants. We plunged headlong into our quest. I could not see for tears. And at first, nothing. Feeble efforts. False starts. Days of nothing. And all the while I was certain I was losing time. I gave permission that we should try new methods. That we should bolster our knowledge of the soul. And with these barbarous acts, we began to, at last to learn. To find the edges of that veil. My people told me they could find my son. But still, we had not the means of extracting him safe, intact. And at last, when the discovery was at hand, we were betrayed. All that we had paid, the lives lost, the taint upon our souls, all for nothing. They destroyed the Titan, cleaved him from his roots. The Titan? Uh-oh. <laughs> I will never see him again. Even in death, we have been more wholly separated than if I had never known him. He will have forgotten me. Have I not paid? Have they not cost me all I had? Wow, lots of options. Um, I could attack him. I don't know what that's going to give me. Um, if I'm going to keep my stronghold, I must keep deal with the master below. I have no interest in your statue. I have super interest in his statue. Your son's spirit still remains here somewhere? Perhaps. You have wronged a great many people. It seems fitting that you're trapped like everyone else. So my goddess, my god that I chose uh, when I created my character was Barath. That's why I have this option available to me. Um, or I'll just attack. Uh, perhaps your son's spirit remains. You think the possibility does not rule my thoughts? I have been bound as surely as if they had intended it. It is an irony I have reflected upon for longer than you have walked the world. And now you think to counsel me? Ooh, a good lore end in, in, in intellect. Nice. It is not the chamber binding you. It is your rage, your grief. That might not be true. Um, you are trapped here by your own grief. Those are the same thing. That is, no. I have tried to leave this place. I would go to my son. I would let nothing stop me. You are lying. His sh uh, shade's eyes glow with an ominous light. The soul's here. They're all trapped within a moment. They cannot free themselves. It is the same with you. No, it is not no, my doing. Oh. It, it is not my doing cannot be so simple I will drive the invaders from the halls I will go down those final steps and there finish my great work none will stop me I'm not gonna say look around you there are no invaders because that's what we're doing right now he's gonna say ah uh, what about you idiots you're invaders Um, you lose yourself each time you try to leave, don't you see? Oh shit, damn it. Lose? Am I to lose all that remains when I have already spent an eternity in regret? You think to fool me? No. <laughs> I'm trying to help you, Bilbo. Will you not listen? I, a blue fire sparks behind his mask, casting a sickly light across the titles. No, no, you will go from here and bring them with you. Bring the mob again with blade and fire. They will destroy all that I have worked for. They will steal my only hope. He raises his arms, now lashing tendrils of shadow. Will we allow the rabble to strike us from this world? To steal my son from me a final time? Up, soldiers. Fuck me. <laughs> Up, conquerors of death, children of the wheel. Andara, Reomara, Isarna. Keep her from the statue. Isn't that ideal? Okay, let's see here. We got a bunch of spirits. Oh, man. Uh, and my party's all over the place right now. Um, this 
This is gonna be fun. Okay, it looks like they're not invincible. That's good news. Kind of stuck over here. Okay, we're getting fucking owned. That's bad news. Stay with that. Aloth is already down, motherfucker. Oh man, this is bad. Holy shit. We got fucking owned. Did I kill one? I can't really tell. I don't think so. There's one, two, three. Oh, there you are. part about that is I have to go through all that dialogue again. If I had more resolve, I bet I could have uh, gone through it. Oh, fuck, really? God damn it. I didn't save. Better indeed. Um, okay. So, um, at least I can put my party in better position, right? I'll just put everybody here. Ready, watcher. Sugani, you go do this dialogue for us. Thanks. Hey. Thanks. Ready, Have I gone through any of the other player storyline yet? I've gone through a lot of them. Um, I don't think I've completed any of them yet. Uh, Durance, I've done most of his dialogue. I've done a lot of grieving mother stuff. I've barely had the Druid and the Paladin in my party. Um, Adair, we've done a lot of his stuff. We may be done with that, actually. I'm not totally sure, but um, yeah, we've done a lot. No, Itumac, don't follow her. Who are you? Would you abandon your king? They love nothing. <sighs> Just started, I see. Yep. Um, Sagani, I have um, a place that I need to go for her, but I don't know where to go. Just got the stronghold. Yeah, it takes a little while for that. Um, yeah, I have a couple of quests I can't really complete right now because I don't know where to go next. But, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I will never see him again. Even in death. Let's try lore this time. What would your son think to see you now? Okay, we're going to try some different stuff. Maybe we can avoid some fights. Um, the air chills between you. Puffs of frost accompany breathing. He would not know me. What they have made of me, you you will not speak of him. You do not know him. You have murdered hundreds of innocents for his sake. What, what do you think you for? Have you forgotten his name? Oh, shit. With a sound like the cracking of fire, fractures emerge in his mask. At your feet, frost begins to creep across the floor, spreading outward. No, I know it still. It brings in my ears. He will have forgotten me. There is nothing for him to recognize. I've destroyed myself long before the people turned on me. There are deeds which scar the soul. Injuries that will not mend. That will last into the next life. Ah, fuck. God damn it, Resolve. I knew it would, I knew it would come to that anyway. 
Love the game, love the game though. Keeps me up late at night. So yeah, I've been playing this game for a long time since I stream it. I only do it like three hour installments, but uh, um, yeah, I didn't expect to like this game this much, and I really, really like it. Let him judge. Uh, yeah, he's gonna get pissed. And oh, maybe and not. Then, at last, this form seems to unravel. Darkness seeding away to frail light, and then fading entirely. Boros. Oh, that was the sun's name. Oh, we did it. Oh, great. Okay. I didn't expect us to be able to do it. Nice. Okay. Oh, fantastic. Good times. Um, man, we suck. Why am I losing to bandits all the time? Um, okay. Hey. Keeping quiet. All right. Feels good, man. Light, flame, and sound. We'll keep to ourselves. Okay. Last floor. This is going to be a big fight. This may be one I have a real hard time with. Because I bet they put me in the middle of arena. Of an arena. That's what I would do. Great news. I don't have plans anymore. Bad news. I don't have plans anymore. <laughs> Lazy Sunday, that's most of my Sundays. Hey, laundry day. I actually did a shitload of chores uh, yesterday. Like, I woke up from my nap and I did a stream and I was watching and it was like 11 p.m. and I was like, you know what? I'm going to clean my entire fucking house. And I did, and it looks really nice. I'm very proud of myself. Um, okay, this is a whole zone. Oh, cool. <laughs> I think those are JPEGs of water that are just falling down. Dot PNGs. Yeah, it feels good. I'm real lazy too. <laughs> like I uh like really, really lazy with my housework. Uh I don't it's it doesn't. It never really looks bad, but uh, you know, d dust accumulates for me and shit. Um, and uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so I had like laundry piled up in my kitchen forever. What the fuck is this? It? Is this all you can muster, Saruman? <laughs> fuck you up. Hi. Die. Not <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm good with clutter. I don't have usually have too much clutter, although okay. my kitchen is really cluttery. I gotta I gotta fix that shit because uh, it's like my entryway and all my uh, boxes that I accumulate are all out there and stuff. So more to do. Oh boy. Um. Neat. Did you do the thing yet? Did I do that? I didn't do that. Interesting they're having me fight these guys right now, because they're nothings. Of course. Margrin's fire casts light in dark places. You hate her though, I think. I'm not really sure how it works.
Hopefully we can talk the master down below into quitting. But yeah, it's weird they're having me face Zarups, because they're nobodies. Everything up until this point has been a badass. Oh yeah, here's that here's that arena I was talking about. Here it is. Or not. Keeping an eye out. I'm gonna try an Orlin um, Ranger for the crits, but one with Elf, nice. Um, yeah, I was tempted by Orlin, but but they pointed out that um, Orlins are really looked down upon, and that seems to be uh, true, because <laughs> uh, they're kind of slaves in this game, and it's like I feel like that would put me in a bad position, like dialogue-wise. I try and roll in Cypher at some point. Cypher is really powerful. Um, I have a yeah. Cypher uh, companion, and she kicks ass. I will use her eventually. Keeping quiet. Hmm. Okay, guess I was just wrong about the arena. I should stop uh, making declarative statements when I don't know what I'm talking about. But I won't because I'm a streamer and I gotta have an opinion. It's the rules. Look, the statue. We've reached the very depths oh, at yeah, last. Yeah, that's the foot. So if you couldn't tell, um, oops. Uh, yeah, it's kind of. I don't think I'm gonna be able to see the right map. Oh, here we go. This whole area is a statue. There's a leg. There's a hand. And there's the head. It's really cool. It's awesome design. Oh, we're gonna need some uh, some grappling hooks for this. Um, leaving you at the edge of a dark pit, you'll have to proceed down carefully. Climbing back up may be difficult. Well, let's save. Actually, I'm gonna hard save. It's been a while. Let's do that. But yeah, I'm I'm uh, in Act Three right now. I'm about to go to Twin Elms and such. But before that, I'm probably going to do the White March DLC. Do you have the DLC, um, Grumpy? Um, I wasn't going to do DLC, but I wound up liking the game so much, I just went ahead and bought it so I can do it. Carefully down. The last stretch before the bottom, Sagani steps on a loose stone and rolls the rest of his... It's always Sagani who falls down. You find yourself at the bottom of a wide basin, looking at titanic boulders and agile formations. Did she hurt herself? She did. She twisted her ankle because she's stupid. Good work. Hey. Yeah, nice. Hi, D. Great. Thanks, man. Hope you have a good day, whatever you do. Oh goodness. Yes, here we are. This is the arena I was talking about. Now Oh fuck. <laughs> um, from under a cloak of gloomy shadow lit only by the sickly hues of the Audra statue emerges what can only be a dragon. Vibrant he looks fucking awesome by the way. Vibrant 
Am I streaming later today? Uh, we'll see, D Great. I'm not really sure. Um, I'm going to watch some football this afternoon and um, maybe the rest of the day, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. God, he looks freaking cool, though. Um, he might be one of the coolest dragons I've ever seen in a game. Like, even including, like, Dark Souls and shit. Dragon Age. Um, vibrant living Adra plates its hide, and the movement of its great joints is like the grinding of boulders. The dragon stretches itself up to its full height, its horns looming like towers. Then it lowers its head, turning a sharp and intelligent gaze upon you. Sagani's eyes grow wide with wonder. Now this would be a trophy to show the family back home. No shit. Here you are, nearly at the heart of the world. What a journey you have made. He's got a lady and a guy voice. You are the master below? Yes. The master below. You have found her. Kadnua is mine. Not only bad shit, is all that lies. Alright, D-Grade, you have a good day. We'll see you later, maybe. Um, I'll be streaming all next week, as I usually do. So, yeah. Maybe not tomorrow. How fortunate you are to learn such well-guarded secrets. All it has cost you is your life. So, you are the one they spoke of all this time. What is this place? I think I'll just go back home, count my gold, live a long life. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, I have claimed K. Nua. I cannot let you threaten the keep. I'd rather not fight, yeah. That's true. I would rather not fight. That's true. Oh, I got an achievement. That is your way, isn't it? Attain rank 3 and at least 3 dispositions. Oh, I see. I guess I got pacifist then. What is your, that is your way, isn't it? To bandy words instead of blows? To negotiate and compromise? There are no sweet words that will save you here, godlike. Maybe there are. We've each come to our limits. I can't let you leave. You'll have every dragon hunter for miles down here trying to make a name for themselves. And you, well, you can't go any further. This is the end. I'll have good resolve, but not good enough for probably later on. I am more than a match for you, dragon. Fight me and you will die here. Well, that doesn't sound right. Your soul does burn bright, it is true. I expect you will have an interesting tale or two to tell me once you have joined the chorus. Well, we got a lot of experience for doing that. Time to fight. Holy shit. Kill the master below. Oh. This thing is gonna fucking pound my ass, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work, but fuck it. Um. Oh, there's more. Of course there's fucking more. Why would there be ads in this fight? We don't need that. Um. Um, it just took out my whole squad. It just, it just, it just took out my whole squad. <laughs> well, goodness. Hey. Uh, I guess I'll try its dialogue out some more. Holy shit. What's your level? I am level 9. Here you are, nearly at the hub. Yes. How fortunate you are to learn such well-guarded secrets. I'm afraid not. Oh boy. Um Gonna have to separate the squad, I guess. Yeah, I just did it again. 
Um, hmm. Well, like, I mean, I could probably... Oh, no. Um, I might have to level up more. I'm with, I'm with you. I'm with you. Um. Hmm. Shit. <laughs> That's a big old shit. Well, I mean, I can stay alive for the most part. Because he didn't do that move to start the last time, right? Let's not abandon this right away. I want to see if we can get him... See what kind of damage we can get him down to. Here you are, Nilly. What a fu- How fortunate you are to- Your s- Check out Sagani, Kana, and everybody else. He's alive too, that's good news. Yeah, I don't think putting Yellow to sleep is gonna really do much for us. Hey. Oh, they're knocked down as well, and he just did the move again, so. Woof. Okay. Yeah, no chance. Uh, will I ever beat the master down below? Probably not. <laughs> Doing storylines might... Uh, being your first time in the game, I just want to do this dungeon later when I have more levels. Yeah, I'm feeling the same way. Um, coming down all this way was, a, was worthwhile. I may want to optimize my crew a little bit, because he's fucking useless to me. Um, grieving Mother would be better, but... Following um, your lead. Can I do anything pre-battle? Hmm. Hey. Wow. No, no, no. Stay put. Stay put. Man, I don't like coming down. Yeah, this all is right, this is uh, yesterday with a uh, Marta Lagarius all over again. Um. <laughs> Wow. Wowie wow wow. Yeah, I don't think I can do this right now. I will have to come back later. Even later. I don't know, because if he does that move more than once, holy shit. Uh, <laughs> hopefully uh, we see Velasca again and he can tell me how he did it. Maybe I'll just do what I did for... Um, Tales of Berseria and that one that one extra boss and lower the difficulty all the way down to baby. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'll do. <laughs> right now I'm just on normal. I can't imagine uh, finding that guy on frickin' uh, higher difficulties. Holy shit. Alright, let's get out of here. Wow. Wowie wow. Well. well, then, guys, I think now is a good time. That's usually my end the stream voice, but it's not the end the stream voice. Not today. I think now's a good time to start DLC.
You must gather your party before venturing forth. I hope. I was told to do it around level 8. I'm level 9, so hopefully we're on the right path. Um, I'm going to dismiss you, and I want you back in the squad, because you're great. I can't do that, because I'm getting my shit wrecked over there. So let's go. Let's go! Your party is considered high level for the content in the White March. If you would like, the critical path can be increased in difficulty to give you more of a challenge. The rewards you receive will be the same regardless of the option you choose. Your choice cannot be changed once it has been selected. Hi, Suzu. How are you? Welcome. Uh, oh, your staff. Hi. <laughs> um, I'm going to go standard. Um, yeah, standard sounds good. But yeah, how are you doing today? We're having fun. I just got my uh, face wrecked by a uh, pretty bad boss, so that was fun. And I quit like a baby. You set out for Stalwart. The White March rises up in the distance, stretching to the north and south as far as the eye can see. It beckons <laughs> to you with. You love this game, like nice. I'm fingers. I'm falling in love with this game. The it's road great. thins to a tattered ribbon and the shadow of the mountains falls across your path. You've barely begun your climb when the darkening sky pummels you with hailstones and turns the ground beneath you to ice. You press on. The air grows thin, and the treacherous mountain passes funnel screeching winds past your ears. A blizzard forces you to make camp for three days, huddling for safety while snow piles around your refuge. At last, the weather clears, and you approach Stalwart under a crisp blue sky. There's a noise, high and sharp, coming from the village that sounds at first like another frozen gale. But when you top the rise and reach the village's wooden gates, you see what lies beyond them. Okay. It's Darzir! With a whole pack oh. of them! Holy shit! We can take these bastards! Can we? Um Okay, it's been 3 days, so much has happened. Um With your support Null, <laughs> I keep getting bugs with the names here. Awesome support name Null. Yeah, we got um there was another one as well that was pretty funny. It was uh, it was um name error. Um I think this is probably the same. I uh, was able to make it to his meeting with the Fisher Crane tribe. Uh, Null sends his regards and promises to visit your keep again soon. Um, finish escorting the supplicant returns. Hireling payday. Nothing new, nothing new. Soul hunters arrive seeking employment. Well, it's going to be a while before I get to him. Craig! Whoa, she got blown up. To me. Okay. What are you? Are you packing gunpowder into that thing? What is that? That's interesting. Oh, you're a cannoneer. I got gotcha. you. Oh, maybe I should have gone up high level. Eh. Oh man, we wrecked those things, huh? Yeah, I thought. I thought maybe if we were just one level above everything here, it wouldn't be a big deal, but man, we're destroying these things. Uh, well, I guess right, these are the opening enemies. Maybe these are just jobbers. We'll keep going. Look out! More of them by the fishery! Oh, you got a big fox. Hey, you just reused his model. Hey. Hey. You can't fool me. How may I help? My mind feels sharper. You're not. Settle. Yeah, I kind of hope we're not this powerful the whole time. Although it is kind of relaxing after getting destroyed by that uh that dragon. There it is. Luger blood. All right then. Settle. Yeah. Hooray 
I do have a hard save I can go back to if I want. Yeah, um, we've been doing the endless paths the last few streams, and uh, we just we just met the, that guy, and uh, he just he just wrecked us. He just wrecked us. Hold on. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My OBS is closed. I gotta open that. There we go. Hey. So uh, we we left. <laughs> We're gonna leave and uh, maybe take some level ups. I don't think it's gonna help oh. us, but uh, I need to rethink my stratagems. No, at me? Uh, why don't you do that to get you, Mac? Come on, man. Give me the times. Step back. Holy shit. Um... Yeah. Intumac, where'd you go, bro? Intumac, where are you? Did you get lost? There you are. There you are. Hey. All right, then. Oh, boy. Yeah, I mean, the game's not going to be easy if I just wander randomly into uh, huge groups of enemies. Um, you do... Actually, you do this. You. Uh, 
Um, ringleader is good. Oh, shit. Chosen. Hey, Jimmy as well. Hey, Navi. Hey, you guys. How you doing this morning? Um, how was, uh, Daughters of Ash today? Did you guys have fun? What's poppin'? Oh, man. Um, well, I got wrecked by the most coolest looking dragon I've ever seen in a video game. And, uh, yeah. But, um, how's everybody doing? Hey, Muck. Hey, Triple Six. Oh, all my good friends are here. Um, but yeah, we're having some fun today. I'll give you a shout out here in a sec as soon as I finish off these ogres. Oh, I love you too, Chosen. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the resub. Um, let's do good things and smart things so I can impress my friends. Um, you now go to work as well. You're all done. Yeah. Morty with a host as well. Thanks, pal. Hope you're doing well. I know you're all excited about. Uh, when is um, TwitchCon Germany? Leave it to me. Oh, this guy's a badass. Uh, maybe I should take out these uh, little guys first. Okay. Ready, watcher. Aider's really having trouble here. Um. Huh? April? Okay, that's a ways off, but yeah. Okay, knock him down. Hopefully. That doesn't work, you do it. Dog went down again. I've called him 16 different kinds of uh, canine. Beautiful soundtrack. This game is uh, very nice to listen to. Okay. It's really good sound mixing as well. Um, you mind play this guy. Very nice. Do it. <laughs> Thanks, Chop Tease. Shit, shower, and shave. That is the correct order as well. Uh, I'm proud of you. Nothing worse than uh, having to go to the bathroom right after a shower. Just go back and take another shower. Down he goes. All right. Darth ears fallen. Back to the matron now. We won the fight. Good times. You only shave your head, you're going to beard like me. Nice. It's <laughs> excellent. Uh, you, you're the one Ren Renen Guild sent for. She'll want to speak with you. Her house is just up the way, next to the Gref's Rest, the messenger pants, waving smoke away from his face. Oh, cool beans. Oh, man. And uh, Morty gets one as well. Thanks for the host, man. Oh no, cooldown. Come on, I'm the I'm the streamer. You can't give me a cooldown. There we go. There it is. Nice. This house is burning. Hurry, they're both in there. Oh no. The hut's coming down. Yeah, let's go help these people. The roof of this hut is almost entirely enveloped in flames, uh, lighting the snow in stark orange hues. Several beams have been reduced to ember dotted husks. Through the hut, uh, hut's threshold, you can see only billowing smoke. Fire roars as it climbs the timbers. The air feels thick and hot. And the building is a maze of flame. But standing the smoke and navigating the fire will be a challenge. Um, uh, I will send a dare because he's a badass. No, he's got low endurance right now because he got his shit kicked in just now. I'm going to go... Oh, shit, I actually wish I had Kana with me. I think survival is going to be the factor here. I'm going to go Sagani. She loops over the burning threshold, plunging out of sight behind a wall of smoke. Inside the house, fire has pitted the walls and beams. And a thick haze rolls through the building. It is hard to see even a few feet ahead, save for the occasional glimpse. Durance, he loves fire. That's a good point. He does love fire. Um, <laughs> that's funny. 
Uh, oh shit, is that actually a factor? Um, it's hard to see even a few feet ahead, save the occasional glimpse of glowing embers. Survival 5 moves onward through a haze of heat and soot. The hut groans and shifts as the blaze grows. Um, above, a beam begins to sag, threatening to crash down into the corridor. From just ahead comes the faint sound of a voice calling for help. The reception, nice. Um, prop the beam up with another log? Sure. Looking around quickly, Sagani notices a piece of fallen timber and seems just tall enough to work. Sagani heaves it up and sets it against the sagging beam. The makeshift prop holds for the moment, allowing safe passage. Despite the smoke and flames, Sagani remains unharmed and unhindered for the moment. Jesus Christ, this is a whole thing. <laughs> yes, I am the lore master of uh, Twitch.tv. Pressing forward, Sagani comes at last to a wider room. To the left is a man, the source of the faint cries for help. He stands trapped behind a curtain of flame, arms raised to ward off the heat. It may be impossible to reach him without quenching the fires first. To the right, a woman lies unconscious beneath what appears to have been the roof. She's small, but the rubble trapping her looks heavy. Smoke winds its way up and out through the open air, obscuring all... Oh, shit. Ooh, we got a choice here. I should read online children novels with the pictures on your screen with the fire sound in the background. Oh, that actually does sound pleasant. Not for me to do, but I would I would like to watch someone do that. I'd have to really gruff up my voice. I'd have to, like, smoke, like, six cigars, you know? And, uh, and, like, down a little bit of whiskey before that. So, uh, uh, <laughs> um, let's see. Should I help the guy or the lady? Um... Hmm. First of all, this guy could just leave. He's, he's not, nothing's happening with him. Uh, I'm gonna go... <laughs> just leave. Like, oh, I quit. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna look at the guy. Help, please help me here. A man... Oh, fuck me. I should have brought... Oh, damn it. Well, I can't help you. A man dressed in the haphazard armor of a local guard since trapped in the side of the house. Fire has worked its way across the floorboards, blocking all escape. Look at this. If I had some magics with me, I could help him, but I just have none, so... I don't think I can help him. Help the lady. Uh, this woman is trapped beneath a considerable amount of rubble, including a heavy crossbeam. A purpling bruise on her temple suggests she was struck as the debris fell. I do have a pry bar. Sagani sets the pry bar against a section of the crossbeam, and using every ounce of strength, strains to lift it clear. After a period of fruitless struggle, the beam finally begins to rise by slow degrees. With one great final effort, Sagani heaves the last rubble clear off the woman. So still unconscious, the woman is free of the rubble and can now be moved. Carry her out! Sorry, that guy's fucked. The woman is as slight a frame and carrying her proves easier than freeing her from the rubble. Sagani hoists her carefully onto his shoulder. Turn away to help the man? I don't think that's going to work. A sudden flash over singes her arms. It doesn't stop her, but the pain grows. I'll try. The man also tries to move, but the flame rise. Try again! Well, I guess I gotta leave. Beset, beset by smoke and clogged air, blistering heat and burning debris, Sagani is rapidly losing strength. With every passing moment, survival becomes more unlikely. Keeping a firm hold from the unconscious woman, Sagani turns for the exit. She races past an unsteady beam for a second time. The timbers crash down a scant few seconds after she passes through! She fights to remain unconscious, but exhaustion and lack of air do their work. Sagani is soon overwhelmed and collapses to the ground. Darkness descends! In the hazy heat of unconscious falls, the sounds of shouting and the crash of burning timber drift in and out of hearing. Sagani wakes some time later to find Adair standing nearby, having uh, dragged Sagani to safety. Did we save the lady? They're gone. Oh no! Oh man! Well, that sucks. Fuck. God damn it. Um, I'm sure that thing was coming down and taking your friend with it. The man wipes his brow and stares up from the collapsing house. Too bad about Lur Golder and Katie. Oh. Oh. You look like you'd use a drink. Take this over to Hayfrix and have one on me. He flips you a couple flat carb bones. Well, that sucks. When did I save? Do 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 do. That went a long way, didn't it? Hmm. Um, I don't want to let that go. Hey. I mean, it was just a guard, but the lady seemed like she could have been important. Nah, that sucks. RPGs, hey. though. I'll just let it slide. We failed. 
Sometimes in D&D, you just fail. Ring of Changing Heart. Grants Dominate. Two per rest. That's really good. Um, Kailato, more commonly known as the Bronze Chanter, or simply Kai, was a famous singer and a flautist from the old empire of Grand Velia. His exploits with women were even more famous than his skill. Oh, that's not great. Uh, with music, and though he claimed that his way with women came from his innate charm, he was never seen without a certain silver ring, even when he had di divested himself of all else. So, big, big rapey guy, this dude. In the end, it was Kai's own indiscretions that led to his demise. He dallied with an assassin known as Valdilla Rugia. Then he comforted the niece of the woman's most recent mark. That was an unfortunate coincidence for Kai. It looked like a suspicious alliance to the assassin, and she killed him in his sleep to prevent him from spilling her secrets. Nice. Okay. Wow, the area music here is really good. Very pretty. And what does the flame reveal? sucks oh we got level ups for the squad now nice um do that in a little bit here wow so we leveled up again that's gonna even make us even more op for this stuff hmm. keeping quiet i've got this it's done not even worth stealing Hey. They gone? Have those... I heard the ogres outside. Tearing down walls and murdering folk. Don't remember how things got this bad. The elderly woman needs her hands. Her knuckles are swollen knobs, and her palms are ridged with calluses that scrape and rasp as she rubs them together. But you're the new adventurer. Renan Guild's latest volunteer. She squints at you, leaning precariously forward on her wobbling <laughs> legs. A real spitfire, she told me. Bet you'd whip those layabouts at the mine into shape. I'd like to ask you Did about you things. you say something, dear? <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Me? I was the overseer at the mine. Back the when mine. it was running. Got shut down decades ago when we couldn't sell or ship the stuff. But I still remember plenty about the mining business. And I got as many folk as I can digging out the entrance. She taps her head, a spotted dome under a thinking thatch of hair. A thinning thatch of hair. Been praying to the salty wench that I don't forget too much afore they finish the job. Me? But I've been praying That's to it? God to speak up. My hearing ain't <laughs> what it was. Join my party. <laughs> okay, she didn't have a lot for us. I don't know why she was voice acted. But okay. That's fine. Mm, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm probably gonna regret not um, Finally, some upping the level weather. here. What do you say to a dip in those springs? You see a middle-aged woman and a younger man locked in an argument. Both wear clothes streaked with blood and dirt. The young man turns to the woman. A fresh cut visible below his eye. They've destroyed the stockade, Mother. It's... Mother. Mother. Enough. They're gone. Ooh. She looks just like um, Lady Catelyn Stark. Um, just older. She holds up a hand, which is missing the final joint of the ring finger. But it's her voice, sharp and steely, that silences the young man. As he glowers at his toes, she turns to you with dark circles in her eyes, and a smile pulled taut across her thin lips. The deliverer of Cad Nua. Thank you for making the journey. Abidan knows it's a long one. Oh, well, I'm sure you wagered on a more civilized welcome. Still, we're much obliged for your capable intervention. She shoots the young man a brief but stern glare. He pulls a knife from his belt and an apple from his pocket and sets to work. What a boy. Um, mother. Um, there's a job that needs doing. That's what I'm here for. It's an honor to be called here. A charming place like this? Can't imagine why you don't see more visitors. People love sarcasm. Yeah, especially when you talk about their home. Yeah, people love that. Um, no trouble. Here to help. Then perhaps you can help us find something. She folds the page in her hand with a quick and merciless pinch. Stalwart isn't much more than a grease stain on a map. 
What roads we've got in the White March are basically tracks in the snow. And for every traitor or adventurer that comes through, three of our own leave for good. But it weren't always so. There was a time when kings and queens sent their firstborn to these mountains, when the White March was the envy of empires. Her eyes shine, and for an instant, she looks like a much younger woman. How the mighty have fallen. Shut up, Aloth. Um, what an era it must have been. The Pargrin dwarves transformed the White March once. We could bring some of that greatness back to Stalwart. But we need the White Forge. I, I love the lore option, because it's just basically me douchily saying, I already knew that. Yeah, I read that already. Uh-huh, I know. Then I you know, know that no one's felt as much as a summery breeze from the White Forge for over 200 years. She smoothed the creased mouth. I'm hoping you can do something about that. How so? We've been trying to breach Durgan's battery for over a year now. Problem is, the other expeditions can't so much as dent the front door. Tell me about the expedition. A dozen different groups have come through at our request, and several more besides. Been hoping that one of them could clear the way through Durgan's battery. But young or old, green or seasoned, it don't seem to matter. They cast their spells, chisel at the door, and search the grounds until they've worn new treads into the old stone. The lucky ones eventually go home. Plenty more find themselves on the wrong side of a blizzard, or an ogre raiding party. Why the sudden interest in the White Forge? We're an old mining town. Or we were until the Adirans pulled out and left us with a half-dug mine shaft and something resembling an inn. She thumps the sturdy wooden wall with her fist. Since then, it's been a steady decline. You've seen the roads. Isn't much we can produce Actually didn't that the Valians can't ship cheaper. But the White Forge. Well, if we could fire it up again and start producing Durgan steel or something close to it, wouldn't matter if we're in the White March or the Living Lands. Business would come. She folds her arms and gives you a stiff nod. The young man says nothing, but tosses a sliver of the apple peel into the fireplace. And that's why you need my that's help. That's long and short of it. We're laborers and fisher folk, not adventurers. But Durgan Steel could put Stalwart on the map again. Open up the mines, bring in new business. We just need the White Forge. So I'm here to help your economy. Okay. Um, what happened to Durgan's battery? It don't bear dwelling on. There's too many superstitions about that place as it is. Her, her voice doesn't match that sentence. That's like a low-class sentence, but she's kind of high-class voice. But that's just me. Killed each other off. Or so the old books say. He glares at Renan Guild through hooded eyes. Plenty of tales to go around, but none of them open the battery. And the last thing people need is another reason to fear the place. Whatever it was, the other Pargrin dwarven settlements in the White March, Bone Picker, the Hawk, and the rest, emptied out not long after, moved to gentler, greener lands. Had the right idea, if you ask me. Why is Durgan Steel special? Because you can shave stone. This kid does not shut up. Cleave cast iron in two. And the stuff's as rare as it is remarkable. In her enthusiasm, Renan Guild shifts on the balls of her feet. She props one bent arm on the other, pointing distractedly toward the eaves of the house. If you had a suit of armor made of that, but people get tired of trying to stab you after a while and just give up. If we could make something even half as good, we'd have a market at our doorstep and work enough for all of Stalwart. How is it no one's gotten into Durgan's battery yet? <laughs> Where should I start? Ogres, blizzards, or sheer damned inaccessibility? She takes the items off on her fingers. It ain't for lack Although of trying, I'll one. tell you that much. Got untold riches in Durgan's steel lying just inside. And never mind the White Forge itself. The Adirans who first settled Stalwart tried to crack it. So did the Valians, and every other cocky adventurer with more metal than sense. She folds her arms, shaking her head at a pitted floorboard. But the place has a funny way of sealing itself up. Front door stays shut. The tower entrances are clogged with rubble. And it's been impossible <clears throat> to blast away in. Brennan Guild trails off, and for a moment the room is silent, but for the popping and crackling of the fire. Um, I don't see why you need the White Forge to make good steel. Finally, someone talking sense. Well, I just don't know, dude. Shut up. Durgan steel wasn't just good. It was some of the best. We need the best if we're going to keep Stalwart alive. She clears it, Aldrich. No yep. one alive today has seen the White Forge, but the old stories tell that it was powerful. Glowed white hot and gave off a steady, even heat. 
unlike any other furnace. Stop saying furnace. I'm really cold right now in my Let better schooled folk puzzle over how the thing was built. I just want to see it put to use. Tell me about the dwarves. Pargrin's a word in their language. Means traveler. They've been wanderers for generations, but I couldn't tell you much more. All right. Any idea where I should start? The battery's up the mountain to the north. A good hike away. She jerks her head in the direction of the slope behind the house. Near Galvino's place, huh? He says it in a breezy tone, but Redenkild falls suddenly silent, consternation hardening the lines of her face. He smiles and draws his knife across the apple again. So it is. Though I was going to suggest dealing with that ogre camp before anything. Who's Galvino? Mestre Galvino, as the old crosspatch prefers it. Lives by himself and keeps the wilder and beasts at Oh, I bet I know who this guy is. I bet I know who that is. Um, there's a guy on the uh, image I use um, for my uh, welcome screen and my goodbye screen for the stream. It's the um, official poster, not poster, but official like wallpaper for this game. And there's a good old guy who looks like Haihachi from Tekken. Uh, and I think Velas said that I get him in the DLC. So I think that's who they're talking about, hopefully. Um, she means to say he's a skilled smith and animancer, who's lived in the shadow of Durgan's battery for over a decade. I'd say that's worth something. Th thanks, Sagani. And he butters his bread on both sides and fits his left shoe before his right. But that's neither here nor there. Seems odd that he lives out on the wilderness by himself. Not doing much worse than any of us. He speaks to you, but his eyes are fixed on Ren and Guild and sudden, sullen mischief. This guy's an asshole. I fucking hate this guy. Huh. He wore out his welcome in Stalwart. He's better off with ogres and Lagufoth as his neighbors now. What happened with Galvino? Old lunatic finally went too far. And we sent word to the Valian Academies. I don't like speaking on it, but if you want to get his guff... Just remind him that we gave him the boot. Okay, I see. Ain't nobody here fond of the man, but he's a clever hand and a quick study. It's a fool who thinks he stayed so close to the battery without figuring something about it. You said as much to the last party, and we haven't seen hide nor hair of him since. You could have mentioned that before. Maybe they didn't run afoul of Baragon's ogres after all. She raises a gray eyebrow at him. He shrugs and turns to the Just fire. Just watch your step. Galvino's place is a ways east of the battery. And folk who pass it bring unsettling tales. Tell me about the ogre camp. Belongs to flames that whisper. Matron Baragon's clan. Hunters tell me they've been active of late. Hunting elk and otherwise minding their own damn business. Okay. He pops an apple wedge into his mouth and chews it. Minding their own business. Never mind the latest expedition's disappearance or the broken stockade. She pinches the bridge of her nose, squinting. I'm saying we shouldn't agitate him further. He rubs the apple on his nipple and gets hard. Oh, sorry. Sorry. He didn't say that, actually. Um, let's see. What does the matron have to do with anything? The brawl outside was just the latest patch of trouble. The ogre clans are getting bolder, and we'll all sleep easier knowing they aren't circling our walls. I wish he had, right? <laughs> if I was writing this game, that's how I would do it. Also, Baragons like to have whatever Hopefully the last the expedition sequel. found. Rumor has it they disappeared near her Ow. turf. Ouch. Ow. Sorry, I think a uh, I think a Boeing flew into my eyeball. Ouch. Um, she crosses her arms and looks at asshole. Killing a matron will only make our problems worse. Mother. The way to approach Baragon is with your hands held high. Mother. If anyone could parlay with an ogre, I suppose it'd be you. But they aren't known for their patience with prattle. Got it. Good. Before you leave town, stop by the grave's rest. Most visitors to Stalwart spend some time there, so Hafrik and his patrons may be able to give you the lay of the land. Don't know about you, but I'm parched all of a sudden. Uh, I want to ask What's you about on your something. Mind? Why do you have a profile picture? Can you join my party? Please join my party, because you look cool. Um, uh, let's see. I have questions about Durgan's battery in the, the porch. The Fargrim dwarves guarded it like a mother bear. It's a wonder we know as much as we do. Okay, we got everything What's on your we need. mind? Tell me about Stalwart. Adir founded us back in their colonial days to supply ore to the Empire. Saw a fair bit of traffic from both sides of the White March then. She rubs the nub of her shortened ring finger. But after the Deerwood claimed independence, Defiance Bay found cheaper places to get ore. Didn't have much reason to maintain our supply routes. Isn't Stall Park part of the Deerwood? Officially. Though with the state the roads are in, you wouldn't guess it. Taxes. What are, our, what are our damn taxes going towards, if not the roads? 
Tell me some of the more important places around town. Here in the center? Let's see. The Graves Rest is next door. Patrick can set you up with a room and a hot meal there. The fishery's just on the edge of the lake, and the Temple of Andra is next to it. No one keeps a secret like Lavda. Or so I'm told. A few folk live in this part of town, too. Seemed a lot safer before the ogres broke through the western gate. Thiersch lives next to the old mine shaft, and Tana, the old mine overseer, is next door to me. What do you do? I'm the mayor. Or so I'm reminded every time there's a game shortage, ogre attack, or a neighborly dispute. Naturally. I'm a builder by trade, though. Traveled all over Air Glonfoth and the Deerwood in my younger days, but ended up back here anyway. She gives you a smile, but it's gone. Let's talk What's about something else. Mind? Can you tell me about the last expedition? They didn't volunteer much, and I knew better than to ask. I've seen all types charging through here. Professional companies with shiny new equipment as brazen as you please. And hopeless runs with nothing but tattered leathers. But these folk, I don't know what they were after. Mm. And the way they looked at you made you feel cold all over. She shakes her head as if dislodging a bad dream. I'm wondering if this is going to be related to um, the cult and the Hollowborn, or if it's going to be a whole new thing just for the DLC. We'll see. Wish I could tell you more. Perhaps we'll find more in the battery itself. Yes, he nods at you with a guarded look. Thanks, dude. What's on your mind? Bye. Okay, got a few quests associated with the White March. Um, I'll definitely go okay. talk to the ogre um, matron before doing the quest of the old guy. Secrets whisper he, I shall listen. Something else you need? Uh, do you know anything about the battery? I guess I'll go through this guy's dialogue, although he's a freaking ale. It's a fool's hope. A fantasy that's kept these parts inhabited longer than they should be. He glances around the old house and its worn furnishings. They say the Pargrunan dwarves developed Durgan steel, became powerful rich, and then one day, they locked their doors and died. Nothing like a mystery to stir folk up. Most of Stalwart is convinced that some Pargrun secret will save us all. But that don't stop them from whispering a prayer when they pass the old fortress. Earlier I said I should make peace with Matron. About the only thing folk here haven't tried. Killing I'm with him on that. I, I like making peace with people. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna thumb my nose at that. Unless it's itchy, which it always is. Um, Besides, her clan's flames that whisper. The one that attacked us was Wolf with many mouths. I'd know him anywhere. That's a cool name, too. They're cut from the same cloth, Aldric. Only a matter of time before Baragon marches through that gap in our walls. At the sound of her voice, Uldric's shoulders stiffen. His jaw works in a silent but furious retort. He seemed to disagree with Renan Guild on quite a few matters. Mother's convinced that a Mother. magic forge will turn this frozen crack into a hub of civilization. She can't accept this place is dying. This is your home. You can't just give up on it. Give up on what? There's nothing here. He scrapes the sole of his boot on the straight but weathered floorboards. What do you do? I'm a carpenter. Mother's a builder, so it felt like a good fit at the time. Wait, what? Uh, what do you mean? You decided to make friends with your mom? I don't, I don't really know what you mean. <laughs> um, <laughs> hi, will you be my mother? <laughs> I, don't, I don't really get it, but okay. Not that we've got a lot of new folk to build houses and furnishings for. These days, I spend most of my time fixing up the stockade. Bye. Okay, let's go. Um, let's do our level ups. Looks like everybody's on board for the most part. Been looking everywhere for you. Um, hold on, let's do the level ups. All right, Adair, you awesome looking bro. I really need more athletics. I should have sent him into the fire. We. Um, I don't even know what to do at this point. Whatever. Um, I should probably give him a weapon focus so he can use this axe better. I may already have it. Well, maybe I already have it. 
Um, better melee damage, worse accuracy. Venom Strike. With a mixture of animal and plant venoms applied to his or her weapon, the character is able to deliver a toxic strike that does raw damage over time. That's big damage, too. I haven't really looked at these other talents outside of the ones uh, specific to class, you know? Um, I need to make him tougher, that's for sure. <clears throat> Nuanced faith in the gods has allowed this character to unleash a wave. Yeah, more holy radiance. That's fine. Hold the line. Um, fortitude, will. That's pretty good. I'm going to do with that. Nah, I'm going to Um. Shield deflection. Shield deflection bonus also applies to reflex. Hmm. Um, there's Fortitude. I'll do that, since I use a shield with him. Okay. That might be a waste, but we'll see. We'll see. It's not like we're struggling too much. Uh, Sagani? Cute. need more mechanics. I'm just gonna wait until you have more, because I need better mechanics. Because she's still failing to uh, undo certain traps. So I'll wait. Accurate wounding shot. Merciless companion. Oh, animal companions do small amounts of sneak attack damage against targets that qualify. Yep, we need to buff uh, um, Itumac as much as possible. Because she in combat is useless, but he ain't. Endurance, I just don't give a shit about you, dude. Whatever. Um, bonus third level spell, bonus fourth level spell. None of that is particularly bad. Let's see. Crossbow. The weapon focuses are good. Accuracy and okay. Um, bloody slaughter. Um, minus seventy five. What? No, I don't want to do that. Uh, that's actually pretty good, but no, I, I need the healing, so I'm not doing that. Uh, modifies holy radiance, foe. Burn damage. Now, does that... It's not saying that's removing the buffs. Friendly. Okay. Alright. So, it, it does still do that. And it still hurts vessels. Vessels. Um, okay. That's the thing I use most often, and I like it. So, we'll do that. Untroubled Faith, Priest. The Priest's ability to inspire becomes more than just the sum of his or her actions, negating reputations that negatively affect Holy Radiance. I've read that before. It's not that interesting to me. Um, it's a Hedge Wizard. Nah... I believe I've already given her the weapon focus for her gun. The gun. Believe in the gun. Oh, maybe not. Well, then I want it. Alright, another level 5 spell. Just one, though. Torrent of Flame. 
Uh, and it instantiates... God damn it, they keep throwing some real tough vocab at me. I don't know what that word means. Instantiates a terrifying inferno of flame around the caster. Yeah, that hurts everybody. I can't... I just don't deal with shit that hurts everybody. Because I always have my, my team form of helpless beast. Oh, that's right. I turn an enemy into a pig. That's funny. Um, creates a bitter surge of ice and freezing cold air, inflicting freeze damage on enemy caught in the conical area of effect. I don't use the other conical one very often. Drains targets resolve, intellect, and perception. Mm -hmm. Spirit Lance. Creates a pike of pure magical force that deals pierce damage and causes a foe only blast explosion like wands do. Uh, interesting. Let's go with that. Um. What else do you have? Cane Veil. Conjures a protective shield of magic, dramatically boosting the wizard's deflection. Nah. I'll probably give myself another spell. I do use the fireball pretty often. Um, hold on. Let's see. I like Holy Radiance. Charm target doesn't help me that much. I'll just go with the bonus spell. Hey. I really got a new Grimoire in a long time. What time is it? Um, 11.30. I'll probably play for 30 more minutes. Then I'll get some lunch time. And uh, watch some football. American hey. football, damn it. Tealdor, the man is sweating despite the cold. He opens his mouth to speak, but all that comes out is a loud hacking cough. He bends forward, bracing his hands on his thighs while he heaves and gasps. After a lengthy duration, he raises a finger, still panting. All Hayfrick's fault. Damn fool sent me to the other side of town looking for you. At last he stands again. He wipes his dripping brow with the back of his hand and then offers that hand to you in greeting. Pick your nose, then shake his hand. Get in. He takes your hand vigorously. Great. Pleasure to meet you. I'm the uh, captain of the militia around here. So I'm glad we exchanged that greeting between uh, equals. Um, nice to meet you. I didn't see you during the ogre attack. See, I was uh, guarding Graves' rest. Someone had to make sure those ogres didn't burn it down like they did K-Day's house. Damn shame that. Oh, I tried my best. I wanted to catch you before you went running off into the wild. See, there's a few dangerous folk you might be on the lookout for. Plus, if you're heading out to Longwatch Falls, I thought you might could pick up a thermal pearl for me. Okay, he gets right to the freaking gut of what he's looking for. He looks away and twists the toe of his boot into the snow. You want me to find a pearl? That's the thing, I already found it. I just need someone else to go out and get it. Saw it in a hot springs up near Longwatch Falls. Would have grabbed it myself, but that's when I looked around and saw the Langu Faith. Must have been 50 of them. He spreads his arms wide. I would have fought, but I started to wonder what the rest of Stalwart would do without me, so I ran. For the sake of the village, of course. I like this guy. Um, cowardice. I love it. Um, what is the Thermal Pearl? They form in the hot springs. Something to do with all the minerals in the water. Smells kind of funny, but they're full of minerals. Just have to crumble them into a pint. He grins, and you notice that his gums are bleeding. They cure scurvy. Oh... Like I said, the pearl... Just eat some fruit, dude. Um, like I said, the pearl's in one of the thermal pools near Longwatch Falls. Shouldn't be hard to spot. Tell me about Longwatch. It's east of Stalwart. Get some nice views of the valley, but most folk avoid it past uh, these days. Plenty of wi wilder nearby, and it only takes a few inches of snow to block the pass. If you're heading out that way, I'd suggest talking to Thrisk. This Thrisk. He might have something to help you deal with the... I got these names. That's all I needed. Stop by his place before you leave town. He is the house next to the mines. He's a veteran hunter who knows the wilds better than anyone. Um, you said something about dangerous folk in the wilderness? We got our share of crazies out here. Most of them aren't even from the village. He laughs at his own joke. Latest groups I've heard of were the Gleaming Society and the Sisterhood of the Slaked Skull. Sounds hot. But Renengild set aside some bounty money to set, see that these troublemakers were taken care of. You bring me the heads of their leaders and I'll give you the payment. Okie dokie. Tell me about the Gleaming Society. A crazy pack of radicals that want to topple governments and kill the wealthy makes the War of Defiance look like a good fight. 
I think we should hear them out. Uh, Duke Avar and the Regent of Raetseris both declared them illegal, which is probably the only thing those two would agree on. Or would have, before all that murder and mayhem in Defiance Bay. Yeah, I, yeah, I was kind of involved in some of that. Um, yeah. Anyway, check Long Watch Falls to the east. That's where they were last seen. Uh, who leads the Sisterhood of the Slake Skull? That'd be Mez Mezdla. All of the members of the Sisterhood worship Barath. I do too! By sending as many folk back to the wheel as they can. Nice. They've been poking around Durgan's battery, and Whale only knows why, but you can understand why no one around here was pleased to hear about it. Passed through town recently. Didn't stay long, but they stopped at the Temple of Andra. You might see if Lofton knows something. If you come across them, be careful. They're unpredictable. Let's talk about something else. Okay, that's all I needed. Goodbye. Just a simple task. What do you have? Don't see the harm. Rayfall, godlike. This man startles visibly at the sight of you, though he attempts to hide it with a queasy smile. Say, you're I'm the one we have to thank way. for fighting off the ogres, right? Never thought I'd see one of the god touched. That's me. I would have helped fight them monsters off, you know, if I didn't think I'd just get in the way. And with you there to handle things, Village. everything turned out well. <laughs> Revolution enough, didn't comrade, it? yes. Don't Welcome, see why to the... still sour Welcome to the squad. Me. Red Dawn is coming. Um. Let's see. What's that about, Hayfrick? Oh, Havrick's the innkeeper over at the Grave's Rest. I may have been hiding in the inn when the fighting started. The raid didn't improve his disposition any. Did you know he has a whole case of Fenlin liquor in there? Oh, that sounds good. I keep good. offering to buy it off him, but he says he's saving it up for when the battery's open again. Uh, you can lower your voice, sir. I'm right in front of As you. As if we're gonna last that long. <laughs> Anyhow. He said he'd thrash me up and down the mountain if I didn't leave him be. Seems reasonable to want to save it for a special occasion. You hit away while well, I'm not even like accusing these people of being cowards. I get it, guys. Cowardice is good. I understand. Um, tell me about the special it's occasion. It's delusional is what it is. Point of fact, what with you dealing with ogres and everything, maybe you'd, you know, be willing to help me out. Wow, everyone in this town has something against everyone else in this town. Awesome. I'm saving the town to swiping liquor. Liquor, there's progress for you. Maverick nice. keeps all the good stock in the inn cellar, out of sight. You see, I mean, it's bound to be under lock and key, but I'm sure he wouldn't miss a single bottle, not with everything that's going on. Um, and what do I get out of this? Uh, I'll pay you for it. I swear it. We'll split my wages and the bottle too, if you like. I just want to be able to say these lips have tasted the best the Ishamidal Plains have to offer. Anyone ever tell you you're a little strange, Rayfald? Nothing so kind. You try living here a few years and see how you turn out. Okay. Okay. Um. Hey. If they knew what was good for them, they'd be walking that fiery path instead of warming their hands at it. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, get in my bar. That's awesome. You can still smell the smoke even in here. I wonder why. I wonder why. Hey. Oh, she's actually singing. Well, that's cool. Neat. All right, then. Owena! Oh, Go check on that Orlin. Make sure he don't steal nothing.
Never seen such a bloodbath. Feels like we got half the town's survivors in here, just drinking to forget it. The dwarf surveys the crowd, his expression sober despite the half-empty flagon by his hand. He shakes his head and looks to you, remembering himself. But you must be looking for some refreshment, too, after the way you handled it. Yar, I got the most pirate voice of all time. Say the word and I'll give that shifty little Orlan the boot. Yar. He nods at you with gruff camaraderie. Um... What Orlan? Showed up a few days ago, sticks his nose out of the back room just long enough to empty his chamber pot. Squints toward the hall as if daring the Orlin to show himself. Up to no good, I tell you. I'd like nothing more than to see him gone. But Party I member? A ruckus over it. Yar. Um. What makes you sure he's so trouble? We get our share of low lives coming through here. Smugglers, fugitives, kith looking to avoid the sharp eye of the law. Way he's keeping to himself. Well, honest kith sure don't have cause for it. I could talk to him. I'd appreciate it. And I suppose I don't need to remind you that I don't want you to hurt him. I'm sure you can find him more discreet way of handling the problem. He gives you a meaningful look. Um, real quick. I, I don't think I have anything getting built right now. Yeah, I have things I need to build. Okay, um... Requires Bailey. I don't have a Bailey yet? I swear I did. I guess not. Let's do it. Back to warm your hands, eh? What can I do for you? Uh, I'd like Top a room, quality please. bear pelts on every bed. Naturally. Um, sure. Give me your finest room. Back to warm your hands, eh? What can I do? Nothing like a pipe. I wish I could actually get drunk with my crew. That'd be fun. Just all get in a big circle and have a drink. Excuse hey. me. Oh, we know. Was there something you need? Uh, she's not a party member. She knits her fingers together and looks intently on the floor. Goodbye. Hey, Lef. Not to be rude, but I'm rather busy. Can't you get another room? The Orlin turns and glances past you with a quick nervous motion. His ears sh shredded and scalloped at the edges are pressed against his skull. Grieving mother, this one hides something. His mind is a maze of fear. Okay. He sent me to check on you. He thinks you're up to something. <laughs> he dislikes Orlin, so of course he thinks you're up to something. Yeah, I think that's what's going on. He... what? Oh, no. No. He runs his cloth through his hair and tugs at his long, ragged ears. Can't imagine why he'd think a thing like that, right? Is she there? Did you see her? He leans around you, peering at the doorway. Um, you seem pretty nervous about something. I was a slave in Raid Ceres. Oh. I ran away. Made it here. The mountains are usually the best place to lose slavers, but Duval is one of the best. They seem to pronounce F's as V um, in this. That seems pretty consistent. Um, his hands tremble as he picks at his worn tunic. That's terrible. There must be something we can do. Yeah, can I help? Um, maybe I'll go with this one. Perhaps we should tell someone. Stalwart wouldn't stand for this. Slavery may be illegal here. But I wouldn't be the first mm. runaway to get nabbed in a town like this. Yeah. While some local trapper yeah, gets a you're nice right. payday. I can't argue with that. Besides, you spoke with Havrick. I've kept him myself and paid on time. And he assumes the worst. I just want to get out of here. I've scraped together enough money to reach New Hailmar. New Hailmar? That's hardly an improved... He stops himself eyes wide. I mean, it's lovely. You'll love it. <laughs> the locals talk about a raid Saren party camped west of town. He worries at a ragged shirt sleeve. It's got to be Devala. She's been after me since the foothills. I'll pay you if you can get rid of her. I don't care how. I'll do it. Yeah, we'll see. Um, Aleph is hiding from Devala. Slave hunter followed him from Red Saris. He can't leave in town until she's been dealt with. Rumor has it the party of Red Saris has made camp somewhere west of town. Now we know. 
<laughs> I love the bar sound effects. <laughs> Ooh. Still can't feel my fingers. Who's that? Fira? Thought I'd found shelter when I stumbled across this little village. Guessing you did too, huh? She raises a frosty mug to you. Even though the warmth of the hearth reaches you here, her hands are wrapped in weirwool and her ears muffled by a hat. Her face has the taut, wind-beaten look of someone who's recently come from the road. As much blood as there was in the streets, I'm lucky the ale's still flowing. I like this lady. She takes a drink, and as she tilts her head back, you see a bruise purpling her jaw and the crimson bloom of scraped knuckles. What happened to you? thought all the whispers about Durgan's battery were just village superstition. And maybe they are. But I might have been on my guard if I'd listened. I was part of an expedition, hunting for relics from Durgan's battery. We picked up a good haul, too. Takes a swallow of her beer. So it figures that's when the winds pick up and the sky starts dumping snow. We lost sight of the road. Meanwhile, something else found us. Took Lena out before we even realized we were surrounded. And then we see him coming out of the snow. These little four-armed wilder. Lagufoth, they're called. Lagufoth, okay. She shakes her head, staring at the embers in the fire. Quick little bastards. Francesca and I held them off as long as we could, but when they filled her full of darts, I turned tail and ran. Not Francesca. Found my way here and thank my luck for escaping the Lagufoth. Then come to find out that this town's got an ogre problem. Um, what are you going to do now? I need to get those artifacts. Not that I'm in any shape to go after them myself. But I can't afford to return to Defiance Bay without something to show for my expedition. <sighs> Apprehension seeks, creeps into her expression. She stares into her mug, swirling its contents. We're getting a lot of questions You're here. in the merchant business. I sure you am. You know what it means to lose a month's worth of goods. She looks up from her mug, hopeful. I'll give you a cut for anything you bring back, of course. I ain't asking for charity. I just can't afford to go home empty-handed. She brushes her nails along the side of her mug as that anxious look returns. Um, what are you looking for? Like I said, we were treasure hunting near Durgan's battery when we were ambushed. What else do you want to know? Uh, Ren and Gil told me that another expedition came through before I arrived. Was that you? Who? Who? No, that would have been somebody else. We didn't meet with Ren and Gild, or anyone else in town for that matter. We were operating on our own. Why are the relics so important? We took out several loans to pay for our trip out here. I'm gonna have trouble if I don't pay them back. Um, what do you know about the Just battery? that it's been locked up tight for 200 years on account of those dwarves having a row. Which means that any trinkets from inside fetch a nice price. Sorry, I'm more of a businesswoman than a historian. Where's the caravan? What's left of it should be near Durgan's battery. If you stumble across the Lagufoth, you'll know you're close. Oh great, bye. <laughs> uh, more people. Andred, hey there, good timing. You can watch me trounce Berthwin. Alcohol and sharp objects, this one end well. <laughs> uh, once, Andred, you won once. What are you playing? You're playing games? What about the ogre attack? Ah, who cares about that? You're playing. Orland's head, Andred grins sheepishly. That's er, what they call it anyhow. Smooth. You pick a target, see? Nose or ears? Nose is worth more, but you've got two ears to work with. You get less points the further out from the target you get, so for the mouth and eyes, no points if you miss. Is this going to be a Yakuza 0 mini game? Fancy a game? Three throws each, and whoever gets the most points by the end of it wins the wager. I'll put down 50 pans if you will. Okay, sure. Um, That's a little tasteless. Kind of. Hey, I didn't name it. Don't take it so serious. Not like we're losing a real Orlin, I guess. Um, Explain the targets. Nose is 10 points, mouth and eyes 5, ears are 7, first 2, and bearskin's 1. That's play. Um, oh no, it's got a little face. Oh, uh, Andred pulls a throwing knife from his belt, turning it over in his hands. Um, wager's 50. Yeah, I'm in. Lovely, I'll go first, just to show you how it's done. Andred aims carefully and throws his blade. The knife hits the first, scoring 2. Andred walks up to retrieve the knife. Your return. I'll go for the ears. Uh, the knife hits the first, scoring two. Okay. I wonder if this is random or not. He aims carefully, throwing his blade. Hits the eyes, scoring five. I will aim for the ears again. I hit the fur again. He aims carefully, throws his blade. Knife hits the nose, scoring ten. Oh, shit. Your turn. I will aim for the nose. I hit the mouth, scoring five. I'm losing that. 
It's 9 for you and 17 for me. The game is mine. Ah, I did lose. The coin, too. Come on back if you want to try again. Alright. Hey. We lost a minigame. I can't believe this game had a minigame. I am truly stunned. Let's keep going up here. Um, I don't really want to go steal that guy's shit all that much. He is kind of a racist, so I don't feel that bad about it. Yeah, I guess we'll steal from a racist. It's fine. <sighs> oh, no. It's going to be another mini game, I think. Tain Lake. The hero of the hour, he laughs. Havrick, send you down to check on us? We aren't causing trouble. On my word. Odd place for a game. Not really. <laughs> Is it? Havrick doesn't like me making a ruckus upstairs, so I get the cellar to myself, provided I don't go digging in his stores. That's a fair bar bargain, right, lads? We have our fun. What are you playing? Dozens. Care to test your luck? Each of us puts down 50 pants. Three wins, and you take the 100. Could explain the rules if you like. Um, well, what's the rules? Simple enough. Winner takes all. We roll three dice each. Get three fours, and that's the dozen. Beats all the other rolls. You roll anything else that sums to 12, that's the tower. Second best. You roll any other triples, that's a god hammer. Um, you get a pair, that's witnesses. One, two, and three is the saint. That's the lowest. Any other roll is talkers. Doesn't amount to anything, so you roll the dice again. Let's play. Reaches four to gather up his dice. Right, here we go. Pay up. Um, roll the dice. Two, three, five. Lame. Witnesses, value one. Boo. Hey, I got witnesses. Looks like we're evenly matched. Let's go again. We're just forward to gather his dice. Even so far, go on. Roll up. More talkers. Uh, witnesses, value three, I guess. Oh, I lose. Value two. Um, I Wait, did I win? I don't know. Your witnesses beat my witnesses. Round's yours. Just forward to gather up the dice. Ready? Roll them up. Talkers. I got witnesses. Value four. Nice. Value six. No, I lose. Roll the dice. Okay, I got value witnesses. He got me there. Damn. Let's keep going. Your turn. All right. No. No. Oh, I suck. I lost another game. That's weak. Ready, watcher. I'm the worst. Let's see, it's probably careful. Found something. Havrick's very. Oops. Careful. Havrick's very particular about his <laughs> wines. <laughs> she went down. That's funny. Uh, when when did I save? I don't even know. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I probably could have undone that trap. I should have known. Hopefully I don't have to redo all this dialogue. Nah, we're good. Hey. Good for me. Humble fisherman. You know where a woman could find some Fenland liquor. It's best over there, a wooden friend. It's a mess of traps, and I should know. Nearly took my eyebrows off. Um, yep. What are the rules? Okay. Yep, sure. Sure. I'll just play one more time. Just say we did it. Oops. Nice. Awesome. Roll them up. Talkers, talkers. The saint. Nope, I lose. Ah. Wait, it does? Oh. I guess, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Damn, get my ass kicked. Alright, let's try this again. Ready, watcher. Always something new. Whoa! Havrick's Look at all those particular traps. about his wines. It's done. That's nice. Um, there's nothing in here though. Just some shit. Scroll of twin stones. Oh, cool. Yeah, 
I'll steal a little bit. Where is this one? I don't think it's in the bag. It's a potion. There it is. Cool. We stole okay. from a racist. That's a victory in any uh any sense of the word. It's a... Hope he doesn't blame it on that Orlin. He might just Oh, I'm ready for lunch. I'm a hungry boy. Please tell me you found it. I've got a craving like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> Under lock and key is an understatement. Wait, really? You did it! Oh, thank the. A hundred copper? You. That's this it. This is going to be great. Oh, oh, and here, here's the money I promised to the lady of Cadnua. Raise the bottle, takes a drink. Oh, that's uh, ah, uh, that's 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 a bit strange. <laughs> here, have a have. Uh, hey, quit hogging the bottle, Rayfall. Are you okay, dude? Oh, it's foul. <laughs> I think that's the worst thing I've ever... Wait. I don't feel so well. Oh, no. Did you see that? See? See? I... I think my tongue is going on. <laughs> wait. Wait, wait. I can't feel my face. <laughs> that's great. What's happening? Oh, good. That explains why you've been leering at me. Are you okay? He paws at his cheeks and then his nose with increasing desperation. A flailing finger catches him in the eye and he yelps and covers his face clumsily with both hands. I can't... I, I think I bit my... But I can't feel a thing. This has to be Havrick's doing. He must have put something in the bottle. Please, you have to help me. <laughs> um, uh, if this is a trick, um, he's bound to have an... Oh, yeah, what do you want me to do? Havrick, that smug prick. He has to be behind it. Sure, I'll, I guess I'll expose myself as a thief. That's pretty funny, though. You have to help me. Ugh. I can't stay like this. Oh, he's already fixed. Now you're fine. Uh, alright. <laughs> Hi, kitty. What's up? Yep, come on over. Whoa, oh, you're warm. Man. You like that window, don't you? Back to warm your hands, eh? What can I do for you? Rayfold ran afoul of a certain bottle of liquor. So that little bastard finally got up the nerve to snatch it, did he? Well, serves him right. Maybe he'll think twice about stealing a man's vintage now that he's dribbling all over himself. I'm sure he's learned his lesson. Yeah, yeah, I bet he's bawling. Look, I dabble in chemicals, but it's never something I can't fix. He's only a few ingredients from a kid. Are you serious? You're gonna make me get that for him? You wanna help him out, all you need is a river reed in the heart of an ice troll. Oh, is that all? You gotta find both by water. That creek out west, for instance. <laughs> Great, sure. Uh, the heart of what? You heard me. Ice troll. You're about really, to see my cat's asshole? Up easy. Those traps cost me a fortune. And dialogue. Alright, sorry, Rayfold. I will help out a fellow, fellow coward, of course, so we will do this mission. Naturally. I wonder how long all this is going to take, and I wonder what the White March Part 2 entails. Is that going to be another similar situation, just with tons of quests and such? Let's see. Russet Wood. I can go west, east. That's Long Watch Falls. Alright, guys. Um, we're going to save that for next time. 
as promised, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream and uh, get some lunch. It is now time. But uh, holy crap, more fun this morning. We had a great old time. Um, thanks, Chosen, for the raid and the resub. Thanks, Morty, for the uh, host as well. Oh, God, all these names. Thank you, Chop Dees, James, uh, Nasuzu. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Um, let's see, who else did we see? Uh, Navi, Mac, how are you doing? Triple Six, love you guys. Kitty, Grumpy, d -Grade, uh, Flux, and Tiger. You guys were uh, all very nice to meet today. Thank you so much for being here. Let's give someone a nice raid. I usually talk too long and people leave. I'm gonna be slow. Um, I'm leaning towards your love. Let's do it. Let's raise your love. All right, guys. Oh, wait, that's wrong. <laughs> that's good. All right, guys. I'll see you on the other side. Uh, you have a good rest of your day. If I don't see you. I'm not sure if I'm going to be streaming again or not, but um, we'll see. Until then, see you down the road.